Welcome, everybody, to yeah. another episode of Egos Amigos. This time, I sit down with world-famous referee, Bryce Ramsberg. And without being invited, Eddie Kingston. <laughs> That's a lie. You invited me. You were like, hey, that's what you did. That's, how that's you the said. face I make? <laughs> yeah, you just did it right What there. emoji is that? What emoji is that? Stupid fucking face emoji. Do you can do emojis? No, do you send them? No. Okay. No. There's some the weird one. The okay. poop one, I think, is hilarious. Okay. Yeah, you're actually, you're not an emoji person. The poop one's funny. Yeah. I like that. Who's a weird emoji person? My dad. You guys know my dad, but. My dad is now. Does he really? Yeah. Yeah. What do you say? He, he says? just sends random ones. For no reason. He'd be like, hey, son. And then. Pray, boop, boop, boop. pray hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for no reason. No reason. And now he has an Instagram. He has no picture. No pictures up. He just likes everything I do. Pop more and says. Pop more and it's just boop, 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 boop. Oh, so he doesn't post it. He's just like following you around. Yeah, just me. That's cool, though. No, it's weird. Why is it weird? I'm joking. I mean, oh. That's cool, I guess. Why isn't he Papa Kingston then? Or He's not. Nah, bro. He believes in shoot names. <laughs> my dad. <laughs> my dad was. Why settle for less when you can have any more? <laughs> my dad was Eddie's first fan. He, uh, at the first year of Chikara, he made. He used to come and, like, he loved Eddie and his partner, Blackjack Marciano. And he went and got these, uh, like, embroidered hats made that said the wild cards only fan. And he would sit in the front row because they would. F- throw hats that was their oh, thing they take yeah, the hats yeah, off and throw them so he, they were gonna throw hat throw hat they'd stop my dad and not throw his hat yeah. and my dad that was so cool and then i'd like show him the vhs and he was on the camera he's like yeah yeah that's it he always asked about it too he, yo how's how's kingston doing he's fine man he's fine that's He'll my, always be fine my wife only asks about eddie he's very memorable yeah my wife loves him too yeah. she's like made him breakfast she, how's eddie doing how's i told her she's my roommate this week he's like oh that's so exciting yeah he's very memorable for better or worse anytime i'm on a show yeah, or like in it like anywhere with him i have to get a picture with him and send it to my wife she's like oh how's yeah but eddie? then you tried to but get that's goodwill for you right yeah, yeah right yeah, like yeah. oh you're with eddie it's cool yep yeah but then you almost got me in trouble yesterday because i was giving the finger in one of the pictures you took it, yeah. sent it, and you went, oh, this is to my wife. I go, don't you dare send it Because I wife. know you, like, fear for your reputation with friends' wives. Like, that's a thing for you. That is true. Is yeah. that a thing? Yes. Like well, you, you, then I show respect? You are, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that a problem that I'm nice to people? Yeah, that I yeah, care yeah. about people's feelings? But, but, like, you don't do that with... <laughs> I don't know why is... <laughs> what is drug addict movement Eddie that's, for? That's, that's Eddie. That's when I get mad. He's getting fired up for proof. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not cocaine. I haven't done cocaine since I was 15. Only did it once. Hated it. <laughs> no one asked you if you did cocaine, Eddie. <laughs> the time stamp's at two and a half minutes. Eddie's a good cocaine time. Yeah, last time I did cocaine, I was 15. Only time. <laughs> did you ask? I don't remember asking. I didn't ask. <laughs> I didn't even bring it up. I just wanted to be known. Anyway. Well, uh, let's talk about so it. So here's, here's, no, no, no. here's my thing with wives and stuff and like. Girlfriends or whatever I just believe in showing respect Like That's your wife Me and you are friends We're friends So of course The first thing I'm gonna ask is Hey how's your wife How's your kids Oh that's cool Alright bet When I meet them I'm not gonna be Fucking idiotic Eddie Like I'm gonna be like Hey how's everything How you doing sweetheart Blah 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 Show respect Cause To me you're different now. You're not just some random girl. You're yeah, yeah. my friend's wife. And then let a civilian. Go. Yeah, civilian. Or <laughs> or to, another thing is you're a mother. So like to me, it's kind of like you jump over any typical type of female. You yeah. know what I mean? In well, my mind. In my Ed, mind. Eddie Kingston also said the greatest job you can ever have is to be a father. Yeah, it's the truth. So, how are you not a father yet? I'm fucking lucky. Le- no, yeah, I'm <laughs> very lucky. <laughs> very lucky. <laughs> very lucky. There've been days. There've been days. You get him snipped? Oh no, I should though. Eh? What's that, Michael? Why? Scott? You're not gonna have kids? No, I want to, but tell me one female out there today snip, that I can. Snip, snip. <laughs> yeah, the office. Yeah, he goes back and forth, back, back and, and forth, forth, back and forth. <laughs> the office. Tell why? Why, great why not? Why? Great show. I'm actually picky with the woman that I think I'm gonna do that with. Like, it's just not gonna be some random broad. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's not gonna be some random broad. It's not. You know? That's it. What? Nothing. What was that for? That's Do you think being a father would change your wrestling schedule? I probably wouldn't wrestle if I was a father because I would want to make sure. Now I have to support not just myself, but my kid. So I would definitely be like, well, it's either you're giving me $2,000 to wrestle or I'm going to go back to regular work. Right. Because I have a kid to support. Once you know the due date, you should book a tour of Japan the next week. Fuck. <laughs> oh my God. Ah, hypothetically speaking, hypothetically speaking, that's something you should, you could maybe do. Yeah. Just, 
you know, then your kid doesn't know who you are. Who, You're never who, being invited <laughs> back. <laughs> yeah. Time code, five minutes into the interview. Does, re- do, does wrestling feel less important to you since your father? Like? I'm not a wrestler. I'm a referee. It's, it's so much less of my income and my well-being, but it feels so much less important. Couldn't give a f- – so the other day we were talking about like – Oh, like how awkward wrestling can be and like how people stress. It was MJF. Mm. And he's like... Stre- he's 23. He's like, what is oh, it he, has, he has it so rough. He's like stressing out. I hope out. things he's work like, out for that so, kid. Oh, man. Uh, the, the, I heard this person say this and then I was like, I couldn't sleep for like three weeks. I'm like, dude, <laughs> I'm like, dude I used to be the exact same way because like pro wrestling is like my world. Mm-hmm. But I was like, dude, I'm like, Kevin Owens has me blocked on Twitter. Couldn't give a fuck if that dude likes me or not. Like, literally, at the end of the day, if my wife loves me, trusts me, and my kid respects me and loves me, I mean, everyone else, fuck off. Like, I yeah, like, like I literally don't care. Like, I have my real friends. I know who I can trust. Yep. And, like, in wrestling, is like, pay me. I'll show up. If not, I'll stay home. It's like, a job. It, yeah. It's, a job. it's all it is. So, like, I tried to explain that to him. It'll take him forever to, like, He's understand 23. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was like, yeah, like it means nothing. Yeah. Yeah. When your daughter gets a little older, it's possible that like now I'll leave and my son will be like, you going to wrestling? And I'm just like, what am I doing? What, what, what am I doing? Why am I leaving? Like, I do love wrestling. I love seeing my friends. I like being able to like help and contribute, especially for like fun. people that are my friends. It's fun. I get to travel. It's great. But like, really, what am I doing? Like, people listen to us do this dumb that's shit. That's true. That yeah, is true. Yeah, yeah. That's true. And it's cool. But like, man. Yeah. yeah. I, like, I was... Oh man, I can't. I'm glad like... I waited till I was older. Uh, I was 33 when my son was born, so I like okay. had like I had plenty. Like I I went around the rides yeah, yeah, a couple yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. You know I get it. Like I still like doing it, but it, if I was younger, I'd, I would I probably would have quit. See, I'm still like learning how to say no to stuff because it took me forever to get to a point where people would offer me shit mm-hmm. like during the week, like right. full payday flight here and there, and I'm yep. like okay. And now it's like, oh, I can't do that all the time now. Like, yeah. I can't just be gone Wednesday till Monday. No, and then... you no way, man. Well, no, I want, like, yes, I do. But it's like a trigger thing where, like, I get an email for an offer and I'm like, oh, my God, it's, that's my price. Yeah, uh, yep, I want to do it. But now I have to be like, no, I'm, man, that's I'm gonna, I'm Wednesday gonna night. Through, I'm going to be gone three weekends in a row. That'll yeah. be the fourth in a row. Like, yep, yep. So I'm like, oh, like my wife's say... the way that weekend. I have to be home with him. Exactly. And da, 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 da. exactly. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot more moving parts. Like, a lot more. And I'm like, fuck, this is what it's like to be grown up. Keeping your pants, King. Oh, no, I am. Yeah, 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 no. No, there's no woman I see out there that I'm going to have kids with. What about adopting? No. Needs to be yours. (laughs) (laughs) So, my God, I'm 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 an uncle now. My my brother had a kid, and uh, it's a boy, Evan, so thank God. And the first thing my brother said... What does that even... I have a daughter. My, yeah, but my brother, this is how the madness that we are. This is how we grew up, the madness. He goes, we, I made a man. I go, oh, you did? He goes, the bloodline continues. Oh, and God. That's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's my brother. That's my dad like. would say that shit to me. Yeah? Like, yeah, if I don't have another kid and it's a boy, I'm sure I'll get that. Really? Come on, you couldn't keep our last name going. Yeah, that's what yeah. it was. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you have to do it a certain way to make a boy, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> wait, 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 what? Yeah, you didn't, you didn't hear you about this? You know from experience? Wait, wait. Let me know. Give me no, the tips. No, I'll tell you right now. Isn't it like the woman has to eat lemons before you have sex with her or something like that? <laughs> you know what's funny? I guarantee you my grandmother has said some shit to me like that before. Like, ironically, I'm drinking coffee now. But when I was a kid, they used to be like, hey, you don't drink coffee? I'm like, no. I'd be like, but do you want a mustache? <laughs> like, what? What? Now, what, what's your nationality? It's not Greek. It's like. I hate you so no, much. No, I'm not. I'm saying Greek. It's Macedonian. Uh, Macedonian, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. Now, do you have beef with the Greeks? He's Apparently. Like, he wanted you know. to say it first because he couldn't pronounce it. Yeah. He was yeah, trying to get you to sure. say it so you could say it back. You know me way too well. <laughs> yeah. You know me way too well. No, there's no Here's beef. the scary part. 17 years together, you know, friendship and all that, and you know me way too well. well. That, that, that's why, like, originally MJF was supposed to sit in with this because I wanted. MJF? I thought it would be funny for us to roast him, but, but the actual reason I wanted Eddie on this interview was. Recently, he tweeted. Ah, no, no, no. Let's go no, back no, to no, Macedonia. No, no, no. We're, 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 we're going to talk about Bryce. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, no, but let's go back to no, Macedonia. No, 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 no. We'll get back to Macedonia. No, no, the we'll original go... reason I no, want to do this no, no, interview no. is because Eddie Kingston announced that in 2019, if nothing big happens by the end of the year, crazy, he's going to literally every week is something crazy with Eddie, so he won't. But at the end of 2019, if nothing crazy happens, he's retiring from pro wrestling. And then when Bryce was like, Yo, man, I'm up. I was like, "Fuck MJF." <laughs> what uh? What's something crazy 
everyone knows a contract or somebody can make a good living. You know what I mean? And wrestle, not manage, not coach. Do you not, do you not feel fulfilled in what you're doing now? Like you're like you're you're paying your bills from wrestling, right? Yeah, but it, I'm pay, again I, a homeowner. What's up? <laughs> You did that at the, you you went to like sign the paperwork. Yeah. The house yeah, was yeah, like, oh, yeah. what are you doing? I signed the paper. Yeah. New York, Yakis, baby. What up, homeowner? Mortgage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, and that's fine, but like when I when I pay the mortgage, it's like I look at my refrigerator and I go, well, looks like I'm gonna have ramen noodles and peanut butter for a little bit longer. You know what I mean? Because I'm by myself as of right now. I'm by right, myself. Right, right. There. I heard you're gonna have a roommate though. Yeah, me and uh, me and ACH, man. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, we haven't moved in yet, right? I know, not yet. But we're gonna. Do yeah, you don't even stuff. know if he's a good roommate yet. No, no, he could be. Me and him are gonna be yelling at each other throughout the whole day. It's oh, like, when he told me, he's like, "Oh, I'm living with Eddie." I go, <laughs> "Do you want to enjoy your time in Orlando?" And he's like, "Uh, what do you mean?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yo." Just be careful, man. That guy's a gangster as fuck. Is he a big Disney aficionado? Has always moved to Orlando? Is he big? <laughs> trying to be close, I hate Trying Disney. to be close to the park? I fuck hate, off, Eddie. I hate Disney. I hate it because of my ex making me go like four or five times in a row. Sciatica acting up while I'm walking the street. You don't think about that it. stuff, though. You think about the 10 minutes you're happy. No, there's no happiness there. Do you have the, mouse the do most you, magical place on earth? Do you have the mouse happy. ears? Do you have cursive king in your mouse ears? No. Do you, do you, do you, <laughs> if I did, if I did, maybe I'd be happy. So, funny story. I'm with my ex. We're walking through whatever the Disney bullshit streets, right? And, uh... <laughs> Okay. And it's, it starts. Whatever. Whatever, yeah. it's, whatever it, bullshit streets are in Disney. So we start. It starts. Street USA. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> fuck it. So it's. <laughs> fuck it. It's, it's pouring rain. It starts raining. Okay. My Sayat, I'm dying. Like, I just yeah. want to go. She goes running in somewhere. All these little kids go running for cover. I stand in the middle of the rain in the happiest place, whatever, right? On earth. That's what it is. It is. And, and I'm covered. I just look up in the sky and go. Fuck! <laughs> There's like a hundred kids like right around. And they all just like, every kid was just like, Eddie, come here. Come here, Eddie. What are you doing? I don't want to fucking be here. That's what it was. It's expensive. I was going to say $100. $100 to hate it. I was it. mad about that, too. Look, I got my picture with Tigger and Pooh Bear, and I was good. That's all I wanted. Oh, that's it? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, let me just get my pick with Tig, and I'm good. And Pooh Bear. Those were my favorites. That, yeah. I told Tigger. I said, what's up, bro? You want to hit the town later or what? What did he say? <laughs> I, <can't fucking> <laughs> I didn't make any noise. Yeah, I couldn't hear him. <laughs> Mickey, for some reason, sounded like a Mexican when I asked him what he wants. What he wants to do? You know what I mean? He was like, "Why, man? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What happened this year that made you say that? That didn't like what, about what, Mickey Mouse? Is about accent. Mickey Mouse? In 2018, you <laughs> thought that Mickey Mouse is Macedonian. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> In 2018, Which I thought was great in 2018, for some you were keeping relatively the same schedule, going to the same places, yeah. getting, I'm guessing, paid comparably, and you were a homeowner. Now the calendar changes. What's like? What? Why now? What? Uh, I guess we'll shoot. I guess like I told yes. you, I like I told you in the room before. Uh, uh, I'm just tired of bad people getting their way in in wrestling, and it just it got to me. Yeah, it's, but like it's not a physical thing. It's not a physical thing. Physically, especially training for the kickboxing fight I have has, like, helped me physically feel like I can do this for another 10 years. Yeah. Uh, you said five yesterday, but... Yeah, for, but, you know, you realistically... Yeah, rea yeah. yeah, realistically, it's five. Monstered up. Uh, but mentally, it's like... It's, it, it, mentally, like, my heart breaks. Every time I see people that I feel that I'm better than, and I hate to say that because I hate having an ego... You, you, you need one to be I, I understand but I still feel weird about it my heart breaks when I see bad people get signed just bad human beings you know yeah. or or I see someone who I know I'm better than talent more talent and I can tell a better story and emotionally connect with the people better yeah, but dude, they get signed and then I feel like people want to diminish my role because I have a little bit of a gut or whatever but like and in and, and all honesty if we want to put realism in, in wrestling that's good it got Dusty had it, you know what I mean? And the bigger than mine, but Dusty was amazing. I can't even compare. But like, stop. Stop with the bullshit. Like, if 
Here okay. comes the, here comes the street. You ready? Here comes the street. In no honor, the street's gonna come out a little bit. In no honesty, I could fuck up ninety five percent of you. And this has nothing to do with us. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm talking about the viewers, all of you. The high spots nation. And now we're called? talking about now we can talk about MMA guys. You're a shooter, so am I. If you want to go that route. <laughs> so. Ken Shamrock's in this hotel. Room. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I go. Get the need up. <laughs> But anyway, that's just like if you want to talk about realism, like there's that. You know what I mean? Okay, but okay, let's all... talk about like real life. Okay. You're gonna leave wrestling yeah. and get a job doing whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. And then some dickhole is gonna fuck your girlfriend that works at the same place, then get promoted in the same office. So literally, you're moving from one job. Oh, no, I'm done. I'm done with like people. I don't want to be around <laughs> you're nobody. Go live in an igloo somewhere? No, I'm actually. I look. I shouldn't even tell people, but like. I looked up jobs in Oregon and in Alaska. and like, There's people there. Yeah, but I just want to be left alone. Like, no social media. Nothing. I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, yeah. I, all I need is, and you made fun of me yeah. for this yesterday. If I could watch the Giants. That's all I need. Give me direct paid? TV. Give me direct TV so I can watch the Giants, the Yankees, and the Knicks lose. And I'm good. You got like you guys did the same before pro wrestling. I was a loner anyway. You were an iron worker. Yeah, I was an iron worker. You were in a union in New York. Yeah. You s- helped build what the Barclays Yankee Yankee Stadium. Yankee Stadium. Yankee Stadium, and you got like you could buy and sell this hotel, right? You made yeah. really good money, yeah. and now you don't. <laughs> so so like I just I just want to disappear, like because I also believe no one gives a fuck. At the end of the day, fan, but fan, you, but you do, and, fan, you, fan. and you enjoy the creative outlet because you're a creative person, and it allows you to literally look into the camera and p- point a fake gun and be like, "I'm a shooter too," and you get away with that shit. You're like you paid for it. Yeah, you. I, literally, I'm paying you to do this right now, and it's like, but you're just gonna give it all up to yeah. just do what? Like, just disappear. But what satisfaction is it other than the payoff of you actually owning up to your? I'm quitting at the end of 2019. I got to st- stick to my word. Do you think it? Do you think you did that to light a fire to yourself? No, I'm not. I'm not Dustin. <laughs> That's <laughs> why he did that. Wait, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Dustin had to sell T-shirts. <laughs> That's why he did the fake, the fake retirement tour. He had to change the year on the shirts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it's 2K16. Yeah. He's, you know. No, I just, I feel, I and I think I put it, I put it out on Twitter because uh, I was just frustrated and. I put it out where like, okay, I gotta keep my word now. Were you drinking when you put it out? No, I wasn't. I'm Yo, you know me with the I, drink. I, you know me. There have been way more swearing and <sighs> yeah. worse spelling somehow. I know, yeah, I'm pretty bad at it that. It actually would have just been a promo. <laughs> <laughs> do you do that? Do you like get on your phone and film promos? No. I'm grown. That's good. No. I just um that's just the way it is, man. I just feel like if something crazy doesn't happen and What's crazy though? Like, like what are we talking? Are we talking like all this, I want is a new... year, a, a year on on TV somewhere. You just did that last year for Impact. But not contracted, not making a lot of money. You probably made more than people that were contracted. That's fine, but then it was like Sorry, I might want to um, edit that out. And there's no, and it's, and it's, and I'm not burying, I'm not burying Impact because I had a blast. You know yeah, what I mean? And I'm you not... did good stuff. Like, but then when you hear that from the office that yo, you guys did great, you guys. Did it blew it, you know, hit it out of the park and did better than we thought you would. This is why we extended it. Da-da. And then the time comes and they're like, oh, we have no ideas for you. Bye. It's I mean, heartbreaking. I mean, they have no ideas for me. Well, you suck. I'm sorry. That was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. <laughs> that was a joke. Walk that back quick. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? No, no, kidding, 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 kidding. You're fine. What did, happened? Didn't phase me. What happened? What happened to this? Oh, the Matt, Matt Seidel didn't want to sign a contract with them, so. So you don't have a third eye no so more? They're like, yeah, we're just scrapping it. Okay. And I was like, okay. Are you doing things? Are you doing things to get yourself a contract, or are you just gonna like you want the the cosmic energy to Thank find you? Thank you, Bryce. There you. That's you know a great saying? question. No, I'm still busting my ass at the gym. I'm still going to shows, and I'm I'm still telling great stories. And yeah, the ego's here a little bit. I'm telling great stories in the ring. Yeah. And like you're, I told you're you, you're one of my favorite people to book. Thank you. Because I know if I put you in the ring with a guy that I need to get over locally. By the end of the match, it's done. Like, that's it. Like, that's that is to me is a skill. And I'll 
boost your ego as well. You can have you can have different kinds of matches with lots of people. Remember that you wrestled Matt Riddle at that it was like an elementary school. Yeah. There were kids everywhere and he was Memphis heel. Yeah. Like in the ring, powdering up it was awesome. He had the crowd all fired yeah. up. He might have taken one bump, yeah. maybe. And like they didn't know who Matt Riddle was, they didn't know who you were, they didn't care. But like they liked him when he left and they hated you and like everyone did that, their job. That's my job. Right, right. Yeah. Nobody got dropped in their head, you know, like easy. But I, more people should look at wrestling like that, but they don't because they just wrestle for themselves. Whereas well, that's like being a mark. Sure, but everyone goes through phases like that. Like I know I did. I did. I did too. <laughs> when sure. I, I used to do lucha for no reason. For sure. When people didn't want to see Eddie Kingston do lucha. Right. Just because I just because you know how to do it doesn't mean you should do it. Right. You know. Are it's you very more true. cognizant of your uh, your style now that you're older? Uh, this is something I think about since I became a father. Uh, like thinking. Oh, I like the way he's- no, no, I, I don't wrestle. And I don't get dropped in my head very often, like once in a while, maybe. But like even those occasions, I think to myself, I'm like, like if something happens to me here or any of you, like there's no insurance. There's no, no, no. you know what Dude, I mean? And like that's every weekend for me. The more we know about that sort of stuff, like I watch Cabana taking these like three quarter roll bumps, and I'm like, he's a smart guy. He gets it. You, you know what I'm saying? Are you like I know that you don't you don't have a kid, but as you're older and we know more and you realize that you especially have the talent to do more with what you have like you don't have to do that stuff you I can tell a story you can tell a story with promos yeah, you can you, you can stall you whatever you need to do and like you can leave everybody feeling like the fans and the promoter got their money's worth yeah. so uh, do you with me uh, the veterans do you remember this when we were in like the old down south locker rooms the veterans used to tell us you'll learn how to work when you're injured because it's you have true. It is. That's what so, I learned. As as the years have gone on, like I'm a little banged up, but I'm I'm pretty much healthy. You know what I mean? But I've learned how to work around my injuries or if I'm feeling like I had a pinched nerve in my uh shoulder blade right. for a couple of weeks, I learned how to work around it and still was able to give Dude, the people what they wanted in the style I, of match they I wanted. I couldn't for walk for oh, I remember 3 this. months cuz I ruptured a disc in my I back. I remember this, yeah. And I was like what the fuck am I going to do? I just quit my job like a year ago. Like, I can't just be like, can I have my job? Like, that's not real. Yeah. So I was like, fuck, what am I going to do? So now I can't do anything where I land on my butt because I'll just like. We re- talked about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's like, that's when I learned. I learned that moves don't fucking matter. No one gives a shit about them. It's like everything in between and like the connection you have with the crowd and actually listening to them and shit. Well, yeah. and you're supposed to entertain them instead of yourself. And that's when I, le- that's literally when I learned that. Well, I remember talking to you in, in for AIW and just telling you like, do you want the people to remember the spot or do you want the people to remember you? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I'm not knocking anyone guys who do these great crazy spots because I can't do it. So God bless them. Sure. But I want the people to emotionally remember me. I want the people to go home and, and remember what type of emotion I left them right. with. I remember telling you that, and Joey Mercury, yeah, drop a name, but Joey Matthews, Joey Mercury, honestly came to me one day and was like, you know, Eddie, monkeys can do what we do. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, look, monk, we could teach a monkey to do a 450 or whatever. What separates us from them is emotion. And I think a lot of guys don't get that. And I understand maybe they're not getting trained properly. Uh, I also believe because of social media, they get popular very quick. So they're like, why yes. would they listen? But is that real pop? Is that real popularity? To them. To them. You got to remember when me and you first broke in, there was no YouTube. There was no Facebook. There was no, no GIFs. GPS, no but, GIFs. But none of that matters. Like, I, I, I know you remember, as a promoter, yeah. as a promoter, the thousand people or whatever that are actually social on wrestling mm-hmm. Twitter, they don't fucking matter. Like... At the end of the day, the local family that actually pays a ticket to come yeah. watch a show, that's who I book for, that's who I wrestle for, that's who I perform for. They're going to tell their friends. They're going to tell their friends how much they have fun they at the wrestling show, not like the dude tweeting from across the world yeah, they, and just like trying to stir. Exactly. Yep. And like the, the those 90% of the wrestling fans are always forgotten. Yeah. Because people only care about the vocal minority. And that, uh, I believe... And they're so negative anyway. Like yeah, Exactly. Like, it's... Great. We can all be negative. We can all be bitter. And and sure, that's fun sometimes. Like, there's so much good though too. Yeah. Like, there's yeah. so much great wrestling right now. Like, why don't we focus especially on especially now? Especially yeah. now, there's so many opportunities for guys. And like, if you don't like what's on TV, get a high spot subscription. Right. Get a like like go go. Wait go find wait wait. It. That's oh. nine ninety nine in the business. The business. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> TM patent pending. Yeah. Word patent was not a general. That was. They love you. 
<laughs> High spots loves so, you. So, but uh, I thought you meant a uh, Civil War historian. Oh, okay. yeah. Or was he Pat? What's Patton? Was he Civil War? I don't know. And it, um, Biss was World War Two. World War Two. Okay, okay, cool. So they might still be alive. If it was Shakespeare, I would let you know. You find that you always used to find that weird. When you know Shakespeare, yeah, yeah. yeah. You'd be like Eddie something something. And I'd be like, I don't know. And then you're like, well, how about that? I'm like, oh, Macbeth, and da 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 da. And you'd be like, what the fuck? What? A lot of long car rides. Really? GED, oh. good enough diploma. Holla. Holla. But will it be good enough when you retire from wrestling? Like I said, man. Retire? I, I, yeah, you have to have a career first. I think, I'm I think I'm quitting. that you can say you had a career. I think that's fair to say. 17 I, I years? I, yeah, but I also don't believe I made enough or done enough. I didn't main event at WrestleMania. I didn't main event the I Tokyo Dome. That, okay, not, okay. Those are not barometers of success. Anymore. 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 How many wrestlers in the uh, uh, like? Think about the percentage of people who have like gone to a wrestling school and had one professional match. Mm. That number, compared to the number of people who have main evented WrestleMania or the Tokyo Dome, is like 001 percent. Yes, maybe. Like, even if, like, you are more talented than someone who has probably headlined WrestleMania at some point. Sure, I'll say that. Come on, it, King Kong Bundy. That's my man, though. He. Okay, but he headlined WrestleMania once. Yeah, in the cage, it was dope. It, right. For but, me, anyway. But you have more to offer the wrestling world than he does. I, that's not a barometer of success is what I'm saying. I, know. I, 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 under, I understand that that's, yeah. like, that's like a tent pole from when you broke in, but like that's not what it, this is. But, no, no, it's definitely changed, but to me, it's also being a name. Like, I don't think, me personally, that if you just put my name on a poster and my face, that I'll, I'll sell you out. Like what? Yesterday you were like, well, I, well I, come on, I don't pop the crowd when I come. I and what did I tell you? I said I, I bring in like five people. I'm not bringing in. <laughs> didn't I tell you that? You did say that. I'm not bringing in ninety. Eddie cars. Kingston, I'll bring in five, five people. Yeah. <laughs> ProWrestlingTees.com. Anyway, I don't know why I said that. You uh, you have a lot to offer that's not your body though. Have you thought about that? We were talking about that this morning. Yeah, but no, he we, doesn't we, care about that. We, he we, wants to still wrestle. Yeah. And I, I, I still have mileage. The, when I don't have my, mileage anymore, then I can be like, oh, okay, I'll go backstage or I'll manage or, you know what I mean? If, but if, like, if that opportunity presented... No. no. Not yet. Not till the end of 2019. <laughs> Basically. New Year's Day. Sign me up. Sign me up, brother. You need an agent, 2020? I'm there. I'm there. Maybe. If maybe. I ran a promo class, I'd pay you to run it. And I can't I'm serious. Teach, I'm serious. Thank you, but I can't teach kids how to do promos. Dude, I can't. I don't I know can't how either. to. Like, yeah. that's like, if I do a seminar, like, what I teach it on is, like, get good gear, how to put a story together, yeah. how to plan a match so if you get lost, you're not lost. Like, and they're like, oh, I thought we'd do more promos. I go, bro, I can't teach you how to no. talk. No. That's your mom's job. Yeah. my my You're right. But my thing, when I tell kids about promos, I go, it's therapy for me. Yeah. Legit, it's therapy. Mm -hmm. I take whatever the fuck happened that week, that day, that year, or whatever... And I mash it with pro wrestling. Yeah. And then I just spit it out. Yeah. They're like, oh, but it's so realistic. Yeah, because it's legit how I'm feeling. The only advice. I'm just putting it into a wrestling Dude, terms. the only advice I'll ever give anyone on promos is, have you ever had a girlfriend or boyfriend? Most people say yes. I go, have you ever gotten in an argument? Most people say yes. I go, okay, when you're yelling at your boyfriend or girlfriend, it doesn't sound like that shitty promo you just stumbled yeah. through. Because you actually had like passion and you wanted to get your point across. Yeah, you don't sound like Bunks Bunny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still my favorite tweet of all time, but anyway, we'll get back Anyways. to that later. <laughs> Anyways, like do that with wrestling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mean well, what I you believe. say. I also tell guys with promos, you have to believe it. Yeah. If you don't believe it, I'm not going to believe it. You know right Watch away. It. Yeah. Right away. And you have to be authentic. Like, you can't just wear a bandana and say you're a thug when you don't have any experience. In right. That. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or you can't say you're some big tough guy in, even though you've never been into one street fight in right. your life. You know what I mean? Play your role and, and know who you are. Yeah. And then spit it out. Right. You know? Like, you're not going to see me dress up like Adrian Adonis because that's not my style. And could have Kind of want to now. I want to as well. I, mean, I you did, did dress I, up as Dragon Dragon. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Then. Uh, there's photo about. evidence on Google. <laughs> if you search Eddie Kingston Dragon, it shows up with a cig in his mouth. It's <laughs> awesome. With the middle fingers yeah. out. You too, right? yep. Yep. All of us together. That might be the only photo that I have on every phone I've ever owned. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good photo. It was, yeah. a long, it was a long weekend. Did you wrestle as it or you just put it on? I wrestled as it, Did I think. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, I had to cut a promo with it on. They needed me to dress up as the dragon in the promo. 
for uh, Retail Dragon to cut the promo. And all I did in the background was this. Ah! That's all I did in the background. If you look up the Retail Dragon promo with me in the background. Ah! That's all I did. Yeah. yeah, good times. What was it like having Eddie Kingston backstage in a company like Chikara? Uh, especially in small locker rooms. Uh, Eddie is a, like, Eddie is my first wrestling friend. Yes. And, like, uh, the power of wrestling is, like, I should be friends with this guy. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, I grew up in central Pennsylvania. Like, I, there were maybe, like, there was, like, one Hispanic kid and one African-American kid in yeah. my whole school. And, like, Eddie's from the Bronx. And, like, we bond over wrestling. Yeah. Uh, we both wanted to go to, you know, Ulytic, Indiana to not get paid by Ian Rotten. And we're like, yeah, okay, let's I go to... I got a hot dog out oh, of it. Okay, okay. Uh, one time I got uh, an envelope full of ones, and there were 19 ones. And I Couldn't was like... Couldn't give you 20. Right, right, right. You got to save that dollar, man. Right. You just act like it's a mistake, but you needed that dollar. Whatever. It's fine. The, the, we wouldn't change the experience for anything. No, no. Uh, That's like... That made, us, that made us appreciate when good things do get to happen. Like... One, you know, a couple years after that, someone like wanted to fly me somewhere so I could referee a wrestling match. That's ridiculous. That's preposterous. But because of that, it was Prazak. Yeah. And it was because of going there and doing that and showing what we could and offer. And paying our dues. And paying our dues. Prazak flew me to Shimmer to help with a new company. And I was yeah. like, oh, so that's how this works. Like, yeah. that's, a, that's a direct line to paying your dues and, and making this happen. Uh, but there was a lot of dudes that didn't want to do that or they weren't like trained enough to do that. And it would just be me and Eddie listening to the same stu- AFI. stupid AFI CD you over and over. You watch him out. That wasn't stupid. It was amazing. He, Eddie doesn't drive still no. because if you're if you're this if you're important enough people pick you up. Right? I used to say that. <laughs> right? I used to say that. I love how you remember that. You know? How do you forget someone saying right? dumb shit like that? Well, you're half asleep at four in the morning and, 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 and he kept me awake. He kept me awake. Like, All right, buddy, we're almost there. Right, and then actually I've traveled. You, you do stay. Up I say yeah, yeah. Like that. Well, because I have to do something. I can't just be like, All right. No, he's, <laughs> he's really good like that. You'd be louder if you went to sleep. So. <laughs> ah, ah. Snores like a jackhammer, like a jackhammer. Is that treated? What do you do? You get one of those masks? Uh, yeah, I'm not getting that shit. <laughs> I stopped breathing for 40. Do you have seconds. insurance? Uh, it's some shitty insurance. But you have something. Yeah. Okay. What does that even mean? It's not. He like, doesn't even know. It doesn't, it doesn't, I guess. No, I don't know. I'm Canadian. Like I'm saying, like, what does do you have insurance even mean? Uh, if you don't have a job that offers it, yeah, which I don't believe that yeah. Eddie does. No, I don't want well, for wrestling. You have to sign up for, I guess, uh, Obamacare made it. I still have my union card. I still is that still good? Dues, yeah. What does, it, what, does it, what does it get you? Uh, if I decide to go back to New York and go to Ironwork, and all I have to do is go to the union hall and sign up. And they'll be like, oh, your dues fully paid. And I'll be like, yep. When I met Eddie, he didn't even have a wallet. He used to keep crap in his pocket, right? Well, sounds, I used to roll, sounds I used to, accurate. I used to, like a ball of stuff in his pocket. I used to roll the money up and put a rubber band around it. And then everything else was uh, whatever. So you have some kind of insurance. What is this? Is this it? Fidelis Care. Yeah. Ex- effective one one fifteen, mm-hmm. and it's that it doesn't expire. That's good. Yeah. And this is not a driver's license. This is just an ID, ID. ID from New York. From New York. You yeah. know you live in Florida. No. Okay. They'll never know. Isn't that a problem with your home, owning your house? I was house? gonna say yeah. If you no. You know, no. some, you know, well, some, I guess you, you can, know some guys. No, no, no. I, you can own a home and not live in it. Yeah, like that doesn't yeah. have to be oh, your yeah. residence. No, yeah, it doesn't have. But you know what I mean. Yeah, I know people. <laughs> I know a guy that knows a guy. We just explained it. You don't have to be hard. I'm just saying. Oh yeah, he guy. knows people. I know people. No. <laughs> did you know he's gonna do a kickboxing match? He mentioned next did, week. Did he mention next week? Did you Shoot know that? Shoot fight. Yep. Amateur. Hey. You gonna try to call spots? Hard camp. Hard camp. Hard camp. We gotta take it home. We gotta take it home. We're getting the pencil. Yeah, yeah. Are you gonna? You said so. I'm making you say this on in in, in a public forum, but you said you're gonna post it. Win or, yeah, lo- win win or lose. lose, it doesn't matter. How long are rounds? Of this uh, I think it's uh, three three minute rounds. A cage or just like open? I don't know what they're gonna do it in the octagon or the or ring, a ring kickboxing ring. Okay, like, like boxing, buy, like four ropes. Yeah. May imagine me hitting run the ropes. Yeah. <laughs> so hit the guy that I go. Like, we gotta tighten these boys. Where's take the kids? A Larry. Where's the kids? Yeah. Watch the Larry, bro. <laughs> Duck the Larry. Would take you him. actually throw one? What Larry? Yeah. You can't throw a Larry in a kickboxing fight. Why not? It's, it's no. What, what can't you do in kickboxing? Well, it's, uh, well, yeah, yeah, gouge anything Memphis. Balls. <laughs> yeah. 
headbutting you can't do. And me, you told me last night you wear the the headgear. Head, yeah, so it's so it's amateur. Yeah, it's it's amateur. It's not like a crazy like official pro is thing. The goal the goal is not to knock someone out. Then I want to kill him. Yeah, that's the goal. <laughs> but if they're wearing the headgear, how do you not? You can still out? yeah well, clip a the chin. chin, the nose. Really? Yeah, you still got them. Temple. Uh, behind the ear. If you can yeah. Get it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, the hockey thing is the inside of the knees too, right? Oh like, well, for Muay for Muay Thai, you can kick the back of the knee. Yeah, even with the with the kick pads on, that shit hurts. Oh yeah. Well, especially with the leg kicks, what you're supposed to do on leg kicks is chop down. Yeah. Like you're chopping the tree. This is, this is a screwed up thing to say, but because of how many concussions you've probably had, mm-hmm. do you think like this dude you're kickboxing? There's no way he has that no experience. Like 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 you're gonna you're gonna be able to eat blows that he can't, right? I don't want to eat those. But, but if if it come if it came to it, I yeah, think so. But yeah. it also he might already be rattled enough that like if he gets his brain shook enough, he's out. Nah, no, no. From wrestling, can't wait to watch this, no. dude. I'm I. Haven't been excited to watch anything like this in that so long. I may long. do it live on Instagram if I can get someone to like film it up top. But also, like, uh, it may be Muay Thai. I already said yes to it. Uh, elbows, but we have to wear elbow pads since it's amateur, and that will make it officially Muay Thai. You know Thai. the guy you're fighting? Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know, know him, but but you know, but you know got, the guy. Yeah. They give you like a softball, like when like Brock came uh, back to uh, UFC. They give you like an yeah, easy yeah, one yeah. to I'm, pepper him up. I'm supposedly this guy's softball. Oh really? Because I am I'm zero zero. See, you like that though. I love it. No, you you want to you want to you want to knock. Yeah, I get it. You want to you want to knock him out now. He's one and one. Uh, it's not even knocking him out. Like oh, he it, knows he can lose. You I haven't was, lost yet. I I it doesn't matter when to lose. I just want to fucking do it already. Like I'm so tired from the training. I just want to fucking do it already. Um, speaking to, like to Lola about it, I was like I never Tom Lola. Okay, I, Jerry, I I'm never. Jerry. We're talking about Memphis, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're talking about punching key <laughs> and the fireball. Uh. I never experienced this before in my life. So they gave me the kid's name. He's one and one, whatever, right? I was like, okay, no big deal. Then they sent me one of his fights. They're like, all right, study the tape. So I'm watching it, and my body got tight. Yeah. And, like, it became a reality. Like, oh, I'm fighting this Yeah, and guy. I'm, like, watching it, and I'm, like, getting angry. And I asked, I was like, does that ever happen? He's like, oh, yeah. Did the promoter ask you to cut a promo on Twitter the week before? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the poster. It's a cold world. Bundle. Dude, so I... The dates and the locations, right? Yeah. yeah. For yeah, your bullet points. <laughs> for Christmas this year, my wife got me... Uh, this is going to make her sound like she hates me, but uh, she got me like a personal training thing mm-hmm. like with like a dietitian and workout plan and well, whatever. You, you probably bitch and moan about your weight like I do all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. It's not something you get for yourself. Right. right. So it's a nice gift. No, I am loving it right. and yeah. it's going great, but I had is to it? sign this... Con- Sure, stop, stop, stop cutting a promo like, like Bugs Bunny. No, go ahead. Sorry. So I had to sign this contract. And they in the contract, it was like, uh, every two weeks, you have to promote our bodybuilding competitions. Uh, you have to talk about this, blah, blah, blah. So then I sent an email back. I go, hey, I'm not doing any of this. I just want to lose weight. Like, I'm not trying to be like competition person they're like no no this is for people joining our team like what if you're a part of like our bodybuilding like school like you have to actually pro- like and i'm like oh my god like this is like indie wrestling promoters but you paid she paid for it right yeah like, oh, boy. yeah by the way his wife is a badass at, at bjj yeah she, yeah, she does jiu-jitsu, jiu-jitsu yeah. yeah and she asked what what, what jiu-jitsu brazilian okay. what um does she still do it? Yeah. Yeah, she just won a competition, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, after she had her kid. That's amazing. Yeah. She'll fuck around, right? That's amazing. Yeah. And I started doing that, but I had to I started doing that in sub grap, which is no gi. But I had to stop because I have to prepare for the Muay Thai kickboxing fight. Is it and it's amateur? It's amateur, yeah. Which means it's an exhibition. Nobody gets, uh, nobody gets paid? No, no one gets paid. I think I may get paid for like I may get some of the money from the tickets I sell. Oh, okay. So, like, so it is like wrestling. So indie yeah. wrestling one on one. You're in the battle royal. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I never pursued stand up comedy because I did it. Because you're not funny. Uh, that's not true. Uh, so I did it, and I came to the back, and then guys like, man, you should do this. This is great. Like you had good cadence, good timing. I'm like sick. So I do it again next week. I go over my time. I come to the back. The main event guys like. Way to go over your time, you fucking asshole. What do you take some time away from the rest of us on the show? Fuck me. I just have to go on last. No big deal. And I was like, oh, this is like wrestling. Wrestling, yeah. I am not starting over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not doing this again. Sorry, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish. Where is this, Toronto? Yeah. Yuck, yucks? Some, just some, yeah. Some, Comedy bar? Yuck, yucks. 
That's a that's a comedy club. In uh, yeah. You know, he used to be part of a comedy group. He used to be. And you stopped. We all grew up. We Dance. all grew up. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. I was I had a college class, and I before I like really hooked my wagon to wrestling, I would go. We did like that's a thankless like all the work you do. Like you do all this work, and you have a show, and uh, four people come in New York, and you're like, this is that that it died pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, but we were like when YouTube started. We were just making videos, and that helped us a lot. We were right in that bubble, and uh, but whatever. There's how did it do? Negative money. Good numbers. It did good numbers on YouTube when it first started. Then, then we just got complacent, got real jobs, started having kids and everything. It yeah, just yeah. it became like it fell one down on the priority list, like below wrestling for what me. What was the joke we used to say when someone would make a joke and that wasn't funny? We'd be like, oh, yeah. oh that's a three on the secret pants. List. You used to say yeah, that. I, I thought it was hilarious. Oh, sorry, that's only a three on the secret pants level. That's, if Eddie would say something that he thought was hilarious, that wasn't. Uh, it was. he, that was his like back to me, like, oh, you're a comedian. You've got pay- you get paid to do comedy sometimes. Sorry, that didn't check out for you. <laughs> whatever. And Bryce would just be like, no, it just wasn't funny. You only did stand up twice, and that's it? That's it. Really? Yeah, both of them are on YouTube. Enjoy. Really? Yeah. What'd you talk about? Who's this guy that 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 uh, was fucking rude fat to you? girls? What? Who's this guy that was rude to you? Is he like a real? Is he a, a no? Just some just, dude. Just he was just the he was just the like headliner. The main eventer for his local. Yeah, I mean, they might have brought it. He could be someone now. This was like five, six, seven years ago. Oh wow! Yeah, time flies, huh? Dude. There's a lot of hurry up and wait, right? Like you have to go and like put your name in a list, hold you in the list, then sit and see if you're actually gonna go up. Yep. You can still get bumped, yep. and you're just sitting and pacing for like what, three minutes, five yep. minutes, less than a wrestling match. Yep. Cabana does that, right? Cabana does stand up. I'm he pretty just, sure. He I think like he just he he's just been getting back into it a little bit. I think, but like uh, Marty helps him. Marty's hilarious, by yeah, the way. Great. Marty's fucking hilarious. But like Marty helps, like he like oh can my buddy open for me or whatever, like oh, so. He gives him the rub. Yeah. I'm sure he could do the open mics. Maybe he does. Uh, he was doing improv for a while, too. Yeah. Wasn't it a thing in Chicago? Like I think it still is. Still is, yeah. yeah. I think it's a thing everywhere. It is a thing well, everywhere. no, Chicago was kind of... We, 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 drug, we drug Eddie to Second City in Chicago yeah, once. Yeah, we did. It was fun. Yes. Yeah, Sweeney and I drug Eddie out to see the like the, this like the famous comedy club in like yeah. 2005, the 6, place? the Second City. Second City. That's where like a lot of people from SNL started, and, and then the, like alternative SNL in the late seventies was SCTV, which was Second City TV. Oh, wow. So like Martin Short and uh, um, uh, John Candy, I think maybe yeah. like that was like the uh, alternative. And it still is like a big spot for comedians or improv yeah. people who want to like. It kind of like that's the place to go if you want to go to another level, like afterwards. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's like a destination place, in Chicago. Yeah. It was fun, man. I had, a, I had a blast there. It was a good time. Yeah. Good. You know, that's sometimes Chicago. Do you remember uh, not not Chicago? Do you remember uh, Michigan? Sleeping on George Animal Steel's couch. At a, <laughs> what? Uh, we spent a week once. Yes. It was like one weekend was like Illinois or Indiana. The next weekend was Iowa, and it was summertime, and we didn't have I didn't have a job at the time. I just graduated college, and we just stayed for the week. So yeah. in his house. We stayed at Jimmy Jacobs and Josh Abercrombie's house. Okay. But the couch in their house uh, was used to belong to George Animal Steel. And oh, I slept on George Animal okay. Steel's old couch for a week in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Yep. That's right. And this was, this wrestle, Climax Michigan. Michigan. Climax, Michigan. And there was a tank there on Memorial Day. Yep. That was that we were going to Muscatine, Iowa a lot. Mm-hmm. Burlington, Iowa, which was like a 15-hour drive from yep. Philly. And Eddie would take the bus down. He would take the bus from New York to Philly, which is not two hours. I'd grab him in Philly. Then we'd go out and then west. We'll go. Yeah. And then, this is the uh, time where we used to do fake fights at like dumpsters and stuff. This is what I was getting to, dude. So that whole that whole we did the fake fight, but then we also did go into a karaoke bar. Oh, that's right. And, I, and everyone's singing, and Jimmy Jacobs. The funny thing, he goes, "This one's for you, Dad." And then it starts, and he goes, "I touch myself." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all just lost it, lost it. And then some woman started singing the Bangles, and I lost my mind because I knew the song. Eddie loves the Bangles. He loves That's the Bangles that one so song. much. That one, song. one time we were st- we were staying in Shirley Doe's apartment in yeah. Pittsburgh or his basement, and uh, this is like karaoke revolution. All your friends are here. I'm stealing that line for when me and my wife are just hanging out. Uh-huh. Please, please. This is all you need. All this your is, friends are this here. This is all that you need. Uh, and it was like Karaoke Revolution, which was before Guitar Hero. And we, Eddie wanted to sing Sweet Home Alabama because he loves Leonard Skinner. Yeah, right. And uh, the words would come up phonetically. Eddie says, <laughs> says, Does your con science bother you? <laughs> 
<laughs> Even though he knew the song, he, he did not know how to say conscience. <laughs> Yo, get a shot of homeboy dying over here. Does your <laughs> con science yeah. bother you? Everyone just went. So he laughed about that for about a half hour, and then Alex Shelley's like, "I'll go, I'll go." And a cool man. So he oh, picks he that. picks Red Red Wine by UB40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's like getting into it. He's like, like yeah. Red Red Wine, like in the style of Bob Dylan. Yeah. Almost. And he's like, like oh. really into it, like digging it out. <laughs> and we're like, "What the fuck." Good times, uh, so I'm really allergic to cats, and oh, Shirley so Doe's bad. got like eight cats. Big and shout out to Shirley Doe, man. Love you. Love Big shout Shirley Doe. Uh, he's a good dude. He's a good dude. And uh, the, <laughs> I was taking a shower, and I laid my clothes out to, and a, and a cat got on my the clothes I was gonna wear that day, and I was like, I was like, g- g- get out of here, man. I'm tr- I'm trying to like reason with the cat, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. come on, man, move it. Well, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We, you gotta get out of here. Eddie wakes up. And must have been having a crazy dream and thought the house was on fire. So he's like, okay, let's go, let's go. And I was like, I'm talking to a cat. And he's like, grab the, grab the Kabashi figures. Grab the, grab the All Japan DVDs. He's freaking out. Because he wakes up in this crazy dream and thinks that this house is on fire. And you're like, what are you doing? Let's go, everyone move. Let's go. That's alright, I accidentally woke Eddie up once and he was laying down like this. Ah, uh, yeah, Bryce has done this before. And I was like, Eddie. Eddie, go, what the fuck? <laughs> what happened to you once when you were sleeping and someone was like, let's go? <laughs> Just the, the, like, for real. This wasn't even that long ago. You've done like, this used, I you're a grown needle, man. So like, so, like, when he's snoring, you just, like, get him in the ribs there and, yeah. like, turn over sometimes. But other times... <laughs> yeah. it just, was, Jesus Christ! We had separate beds last night, which is a promotion. That shows how far we've made it. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep on floors, right? Heavy toesies, over unders. <laughs> we had our own beds. I was like, oh, these palatial estates only took 17 years. We, we the reserve, comfort suites. We reserve, the comfort suites. We used to have three, three or four people in one bed. Remember? All right, you're, you're take head. turns with me on the yeah. floor. Your head's down here. Your feet up here. You're, we used to fucking. There'd be like seven of us. Someone goes sleep in the car. It would take yeah. turns sleeping in the car. Or if there's like, it was someone was snoring bad or whatever, like, there, it would actually be more comfortable to sleep in the car oh, than yeah. sleep in the- It was fucking nuts, man. Like, and the reason why we did this, because at the time we were like, yo, we're so indie. Remember that? That used to be our thing. We're oh, yeah. so fucking indie, bro. Dude. That's what- because of fucks like you. <laughs> that's why I was like, yo, man, this is so indie. We were supp- <laughs> but that's what it was. We were supposed, the way we broke in. We were supposed That's to part do of that. it. We used to stay at Hero's House in Indiana, yeah. and there'd be like, no lie, 18 or 20 people. It was like a homeless shelter. Yeah. And, and like, do you think about like, like Saban and Jimmy Jacobs and Alex mm-hmm. Shelley and, and Matt Seidel and Delirious? And it's like, Boss. right. Boss, like, yeah. <laughs> no offense to Boss. But it was a weird jump. But I really like Boss. Saying, like, like, <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Stepped on his ankle once. Can we go thinking. back to fake fights at dumpsters? So, oh wow, we've got it. Okay, just so, so that I so know to pa- and people to, to, know to pass what you're time about. in 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 towns, especially when there's like days without wrestling, just yes. be hanging out. And didn't want to spend didn't want to spend a lot of money because we weren't making any money. Uh, we would pick fake fights in public just to pop ourselves. Right, right. So like someone would start something like like. Sweeney was a big fan of this. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it would be like, you know, well, it's, you know, it's a shame this happened. Like in a restaurant, and then he'd say, well, you know, you're, you're, you're I mean, you're, your dad's one with the drinking problem, right? And, and like, he would say something really real, yeah. and, and the other person would be like, I don't think that. It wouldn't, wouldn't fight right away, but like it would simmer, and it would get louder and louder and louder. And you basically have to ask around, be like, are you guys ready to leave? It's like, all right, yeah, we're ready to leave. So like, give us 10 minutes, and we're going to brawl out of this room. Yeah. And like, brawl think, out oh, of yeah, the room. Yeah. But fake. Abercrombie loved yeah, these. Fake fighting in, in the diner. And it's like, 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 no. like you, yeah. you know, like the wrestling girl, you push into the steps and it makes a big noise, yeah, like yeah, st- yeah. stuff like that. Like, yeah. like smacking the table and making a big, yeah. everybody looks over, and then you just leave. Like, they're going to ask us to leave anyway, and we're ready to go, and we're never coming back here. Yeah. So let's go out in a blaze of glory. I didn't know that wasn't your sister. I didn't know. <laughs> How was I supposed to know it was your sister? It was dark. It was dark. I didn't know. I, I don't and have the Sweeney, balls. I'll never forget the Sweeney. He's like, you gave me a fucking chlamydia. I didn't know. And we're screaming in the diner. And then we're fake fighting. We're punching each other out of the diner. One time, everybody followed us outside. And there was a dumpster outside. Yes, I remember this. And, and then wait, wait, wait. Everyone in the restaurant left? Not everyone. No, but enough. It was a bar, I think. It was a bar, but people were looking outside the window. We used to start it with karaoke, too. It'd be like, like this one goes out to you, and it'd be like a, a vengeful song. Oh, that's yeah. weird. And then the guy that called it, the guy that, the guy that, the guy that, the guy that, 
even set up to it would, would go back and be like, well, this one's for you. And it, and it would get weird and like walk down. I was like, jeez, what's, 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 what's these guys' deal? I started out with Alanis Morissette song. Yeah. Well, and Jimmy Jimmy would take bumps on floors. Yeah, like he's like nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, well, yeah. Yeah, he's nuts. We were out, we were all out of our minds. But I remember that one time we, we it was a it was a seven eleven type thing. Okay. And this girl Sarah who used to hang out yep. with us was there. And you and her were doing the fake arguing. Oh yeah. And I think um maybe uh Maybe maybe a salad, I think. Maybe tonight. Maybe yeah. chicken, maybe a, I think maybe maybe, maybe a salad's a better idea. And it's like, and it's like uh, what, what what would you like to drink? She'll have a water. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what She'll have a water. Have a water the waiter's salad. like, "Ooh." Yeah. So we go outside and then I think it was Hero or Abercrombie. Abercrombie was like, "Don't talk to my sister like that." And you're like, "Fuck you. I'll do whatever I want." And then he threw you into the dumpster and then the, bang and everyone just went, "What the fuck?" <laughs> And I'm screaming, why are we doing this? We're all supposed to be friends. And then you're yelling at that girl, Sarah. Still one of my favorite lines. I just love you so hard. This is why. This is why. This is how I show my love. <laughs> and people, do, even one guy, remember that one guy drove by, that one black guy drove by when, he, when you got thrown into the dumpster and he went, damn. <laughs> I kept driving. <laughs> And things to keep us entertained. <laughs> I, <laughs> this reminds me of a different story. This is, you, I don't think you were there for this. We were in Milwaukee Mil- driving Milwaukee, Mil- Algonquin for the Promised Land, and uh, Dustin was driving. And I guess he was going a little fast or whatever. And he like bust, and this guy pulled up beside him and was like, "Hey, it's kids like you that give Milwaukee a bad name. You come in here and do stuff like this in Milwaukee." And he's like yelling, "Oh my god!" It's like like five miles over the speed. Like, you saw that turn signal light. You saw it. And Dustin's like, "Okay, so I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry." I just they yelling at someone. I remember the tw- remember the so the twenty four hour drive we did yeah. to uh, Minnesota. Minnesota. That's the furthest I've driven. For- What's the farthest you've driven for wrestling? Probably twenty two hours. Ugh. Where was that to? Florida. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. For what? Not Gabe. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Oh man. Remember when so, you said you'd never work for him again? I never said I would never work for him. I said it has to be a good opportunity. It has to be something there. That's what I said. Yep, my memory has changed now as well. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you drove 22 hours to Minnesota. To Minnesota and there was uh, Akuma didn't drive. Akuma didn't, I stood up for like a good 19 hours of that trying to keep whoever was Icarus driving. hurt his knee at the yes. show and couldn't help. It was his pedal. Like he couldn't help drive home. Yeah. That's the, so that I, had to dri- I had to drive the whole way home Blackjack. by myself. The whole way home. Well, Jimmy, Jimmy helped. Blackjack helped. Oh, we, we dropped Jimmy in, Min- Min- Michigan. in Michigan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He helped for part of it, but uh, like, yeah, that sucked. Yeah. Jigsaw was, didn't drive at the time either. Does he drive now? He drives now. He drives now, yeah. But not I've tried to book Jigsaw for Alpha One. So many times, he's like, "This is a real life person." Yeah. He's like, "Nah, man, got to work on Monday." Yeah, I'm, he's I'm changed, like, yeah. Damn, he's done. He's pretty much. He has a good job. I think he's sanitation in New York. But yeah, I was like, uh, like, uh, I don't know when I, I've never been like that because I was saying earlier. But like, I'm like, fuck, I get it now. Well, he wasn't very talented anyway. So <laughs> yes, he was. <laughs> You know he was ugly as sin. We've seen him without the mask. Am I right or wrong, Bryce? I have seen him without the mask. Yeah, we all have. Is he ugly, Bryce? Who does he look like? What's the ca- the cartoon flock. character? The, what the was the there? The no, 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 no. What was... Uh, the guy from Ice Age. The little fucking so guy. so fucking mean. <laughs> it's the truth. Saban used to call me Jimmy Neutron when I had yeah, hair. Yeah, when you had hair. What, you had, what was... And the, you used to get mad. At, like, after... So, well, first off, so, you'd be on the road for okay. a long time. The, no sleep. And then they would call you Jimmy Neutron. Go. So, okay. It was fine taking... Eddie and like the Chikara guys to the Midwest, and then we started going to Toronto every month too yes. for uh, UWA? the brothers. UWA. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, McCausland. I was in the yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that was great, and it was awesome. They took really good care of us, and it was worth going. But then for a while, it was me driving you, Joker, Sabian, and Ruckus. Me, sometimes, sometimes Ruckus, sometimes Robbie Marino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, like none of them drive. Or the ones that drive, like, fade that they drive, or you don't want them to drive your car. Yeah, you just, yeah, you and that was just me driving the whole time, and them just yelling at each other and busting each other's balls. What, and that's what, nine hours there, nine hours home? Yeah, yeah. nine. We used, we used to stay sometimes. We did. We would go. We went to Montreal once a couple times, but that's not close, right? Like, Toronto no, Montreal is like, like five, five or six, six hours. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't but I just remember we stayed we stayed once. We so stayed bad. We stayed once and did a show for, do you remember who it was? Who do we stay and go for? Uh, we stayed an extra day and it was in Oshawa. He ran his own show. No, no. Oshawa. I got it. Yeah. I got it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 
It's today's secret word. Scream real loud. Yeah. Ah! We did. We stayed night. And it was it was an awful snowstorm. It was like January yeah. and driving home's miserable. It sucked. But like today, I wouldn't even leave. I'd be like, it's gonna snow in Toronto. I'm, I won't go. Like yeah. I, I I don't need that. I don't. I I. Uh, do you get home as fast as you can? Like. What, as fast 7 a.m. As tomorrow I morning, can. I'm gonna. I've like, I got the earliest like I get to, so I can get home as fast as yeah. possible. Like, it's part of the deal. Like, it's only fair if you have a kid someday mm. or even a wife. Like, she. This is not our income. It's different for you, right? But like, I get to go play referee hand with my friends, and it's only fair. Like, I'll get home as soon as possible. I'll yeah. leave as late as possible. I'll get home as soon as possible. Like, this is cool. We're in the same place for days. We're hanging out. That's great. It doesn't always work that way. Like sometimes it's airport, show, hotel, home. Like, great. Yeah. That's I, most I, of the time, actually. That's okay. That's okay, though. Like, what, are you, what am I going to do yeah. somewhere? Like, I'd rather be home. Remember the first couple times we went to Germany? It was like land, wrestle, hotel, go home. Oh, yeah. It was like no time for anything. Yeah. Yeah. It's, that part of that, that stinks in a way, though, too. Like, if you're going to go to these places. places yeah. That, that was our first couple times. Remember that we would go together? That was, that was rough. I remember that. And you just want to give it all up. Wrestled in how many countries? Have you wrestled in Japan yet? Yeah, I was uh, for a soccer pro. Yeah. Yeah. Dying to go back. Dude, he was Where'd jacked you? out of his mind. Yeah, I was on the gas at the time. Yeah, I love you, Eddie. The gas? I think you don't drive. No. <laughs> that's a... That's Dad a, joke. That's a four on the secret pants. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve that. Bring that's fair. That's fair. that's fair. That's fair. Uh, so Japan, else? where else? Hmm? Where else have you wrestled? Japan, UK. Uh, we were in England uh, together. We are in England together, yeah. Um, Ireland. Germany. We wrestled Stokely in a banger. That was fun. Oh, when he was Chuck Taylor? Yeah. yeah. In uh, Manchester, but I it was like a, yeah, it was like a six, six minute comedy match. Yeah. Like Eddie Kingston hard, went out and had this like brilliant comedy match with, and he had not had many matches. No, yeah, it was great. easy. That's fun. Man. Yeah, thank you. It was just easy. It was fun. I want to get more into the stories. Man. Have you gone back for Fight Club? Yeah, one time, yeah. one time. Yeah, oh, yeah we back. ended up being in England at the same time. When? On my first trip, actually. Yes, you, 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 you saw Southside. my first ever match in England. Yeah, you were at Southside, Some, right? Yeah, yeah, or Kamikaze. Do they still run a the Southside store? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ben's stems, yeah. yeah. God bless him. Great yeah. guy. What other so, countries? Mexico? Yeah, Mexico once. Japan, Canada, England, Ireland. I feel like you hit all the big ones, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Like, there's nothing that's, like, not... Do you have Wales? No, I stayed there one night. <laughs> I didn't wrestle, yeah. So you've been to? Yeah, I've been to, yeah. Like, Scotland? that's what normal people say. No, Scotland, I never wrestled in Scotland. Yes, you did. We were in Scotland together. Were we? That trip, that Chikara trip that we did, uh, Birmingham, Manchester, a third one, and Scotland was the last day. It was in that castle. Oh, my God. So it, was like, it was like a church oh, castle dude. in Glasgow. So there you go. Yeah. You literally Scotland. don't even remember where you wrestled. Right? You were in some weird tag match. Yeah, it was. It was me and uh, the snake motherfucker against uh, Icarus and uh, I forgot someone else. I'm sorry. Who's the... Ophidian, right? That's who it was. And like Icarus. <laughs> I remember Icarus being Icarus. Stiff somebody in the match, not me, but stiff somebody in the match and almost knocked them out. Well, it was a tag you, match, you, so it was your partner. You know, you know that. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. You know, you know, Icarus. I think is why I'm here this weekend. Do you know that? So what? There, a gif went around of uh, Icarus, Icarus was wrestling Eddie at a like. It was a three-way, three way with Hollow Wicked. Let's, let's go before this now. Before that match, what had happened was Chikara had their big re-debut or whatever rebirth, where in Eastern Pennsylvania, and there's me and Icarus for the championship. Is this after Quack closed the, the doors, yeah, came so, back? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Icarus decided to hit me in the ear repeatedly with smacks okay. after I told him a couple times, stop. He had not wrestled in a year. I'm not making excuses. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. So I now also, I was just tired from a long trip from uh, Ohio because we did uh, J-Lit. Right. Yeah, and yeah. then drove in. So I'm in pain and he's hit me in the ear and I just, I just had enough. So I forearmed him. I didn't know I formed that hard where I knocked him out cold. And I had to put myself in the Chikara special for him to go over. No. Yeah. And like win the title at this like 1,300 people. Like yeah. the biggest the biggest Chikara crowd ever. Yeah. This big, huge comeback show. And and like, I and yeah. Uh, and so, he looked at me and I was like, yep, yep. And then he basically, he finished the match himself. He finished, uh, yeah. I basically just grabbed him and said, here we go. So a year and a half later. So, uh, but, uh, the side note on that, I got shit from Quack about that. And I said, okay. Uh, next day, I looked at my pillow and there was blood on my pillow from my from ear. From the ear. And I took a picture and I said, this is why I did it. So anyway, now a year later. He's wrestling. Again, he's wrestling Icarus. And, and Holloway did three-way. 
and Icarus catches him in the mouth. Can I pause for a second? Yeah. Hollow Wicked, one of the most underrated wrestlers of yeah. all time. Yeah. All right, I continue. feel like I feel like if we all say that enough, he can't be underrated anymore. Like that's my theory on that. I, everybody, but, uh, everybody, see, no, everybody no, 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 has no. worthwhile opinions b- that believes that if everyone keeps saying it, maybe the world will change. It's like, why doesn't he get book places? It's like, who's trying to book him that he's saying no to though? My, my, who, who, who's asking him to come places and he's turning down? But that's what I'm saying. Is I think like he is turning it down because he I don't has, think he is. has a wife. I don't think he's turning him down. Well, I think he should be everywhere. Get me his contact then. All right. I will. We will. Yeah. 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 I think he should be everywhere. It should have been uh, two on five. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. Icarus blasts Eddie in the mouth, and it's a three way. And Ic- Eddie looks at me, and he's like, uh, "Here it comes." And I and I in the ring, basically, like it's a three way match. They were just about to get into the, like the home stretch. If he if this happens again, it's going to be a mess. Like to 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 retroact, it's not going to be as easy as him putting himself in the trash. Yeah, special yeah, yeah. Because it's three way. Yeah, it's going to. And again, main event, season finale, East W Arena, eight hundred people, blah blah blah. blah. Uh, and he just looks at me, and without words, Eddie and I made eyes, and I was like, "Don't do it." I didn't yeah. say that, but I just, mm. yeah, the eyes were like, and Eddie, Eddie looks at me with. <laughs> <laughs> So the gif is out there. So that gif came out a few months ago. And oh, like of, of your faces? Of, of that interaction. Oh, get, him blasting and us him, looking at each I other. And I go. And I look at him and I'm like. And, and then we just go. TJ saw that and like direct messaged me the day after that gif was around. He's like, I need you to be there to, with, with, to, yeah. to, to wrangle in Kingston or whatever. So like what? Tell Ken Shamrock not to rip someone's right? fucking ankle right. off? <laughs> Uh, I asked we need him, you, Bryce. I asked Ken Shamrock uh, last night. I said, uh, "Sir, what's the uh, what's the finish?" He goes, "Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put him in the ankle lock." <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess how that's about, the finish. How about? We, I agree. We were talking about it in the elevator, so I cornered Lawler, and remember, he goes, "What is that? Your boyfriend?" I go, "Yeah, maybe it is. Oh, yeah. It's 2019. <laughs> maybe it is." Last night during the match, Eddie was cheering on Tom Lawler and he said uh, um, what's that your boyfriend and he's like it's 2019 so what if it is and Shamrock goes like he's, 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 he, you can totally tell he caught himself he's like ah, I'm gonna get in trouble I'm gonna get in trouble he was ready to yeah. Let me not. That eighties mentality yeah. is ready to come back with something. Oh, God. A word he would yeah, learn funny. come to regret. Yeah, it was funny. He's still jacked to shit. Yo, he's, Dude. Got a, he's got a presence. He's one of those dudes that when they walk in the room, you're like, this guy's someone. Designer yeah. jeans. He's someone this guy. I'm not gonna mess with him. Designer jeans and designer MMA. You, yeah, gloves. UFC gloves. Yeah. He's a badass, man. What other stories we got from the road, man? We have so many. He could buy and sell all of us. He could. He made you one. Think he, so? Uh I think well. Think of like what 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 he what he, what, he, what, he eh, what he made from one what he would make for one match is like what three months of work yeah. ish yeah. for yeah. a that's guy on your guy's level like that's pretty crazy like you mean last night what he made yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it's on it made me very uncomfortable I, I I do know and I think so I, I had to tell Lawler right away uh, how uncomfortable yeah. that no 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 how much he made oh oh okay. because I was like I just want you to know. How much more he made than you for you to fly around that bar and bump on the floor? Yep. And sure, shit. sure, sure. He wasn't like that. He was, he was so worried about it being slippery. Like, he was watching the show go on. He's like, like he was changing. He realized. He saw dudes coming back with their backs all gross. He's like, nah. And he took out a bunch of stuff that would involve him. He's yeah. a smart guy. Uh, he tried to, when Drew Gulak was about to leave, we tried to, his favorite wrestler is Ken Shamrock. No lie. He yep. loves Ken Shamrock. So we tried to surprise him and let him wrestle Shamrock at Chikara. Yep. And we did some research to find how much that would cost. And <laughs> we don't love Drew that much. <laughs> it's like, whoa. That's like, a, a, you know, six months of budget of shows. Well, there, crazy. Didn't, didn't the dude say last night, uh, TJ, he was saying that he hadn't had a match in America since 2009? That's crazy. I wonder who that was against. Yeah. I remember AAW once announced Sammy Callahan versus Ken Shamrock, and it, I freaked out because I was on the show, and I was like, oh, my God, I get to meet Ken Shamrock, and then he just didn't show up. <laughs> Bummer. Yeah. I don't remember that. So I was super stressed that that was going to happen this weekend. Why were you stressed? You're Because I need a picture it. with Ken Shamrock. Uh, you got one? No, t- today. Okay. I'm going to ask him. I want to see. No, 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 because hold on. He, wait, hold wait, on. He, he was going to the airport, yeah, wasn't he? He had his bags. <laughs> That was a Yo, M Dog last night was after the show. He had his he had his his, his, his hand still taped. It was like you haven't re- you were done wrestling two hours ago. He's like he's like I figured if I'm gonna get my picture taken with Shamrock, I better look like I mean it. <laughs> I was like, all right, cool. And he didn't get it. He left. He he he, he Irish exited oh, last night. Oh, because I like I want to see if he actually puts his legit gear on tonight. Like no. the uh, like the trunks, the, the little knee tiny. pads, dude. 
He's in great enough shape. I was trying so hard last night to come up with a way in to, to tell him to ease up like Vader did. Oh. Like, 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 I was like, I was like hoping the moment he, yo, Shamrock, ease up, Ken. Like, and I, I couldn't, about, I couldn't, I couldn't find it. How about when his music hit me and you go, yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, that's the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, yeah. so good. Uh, Hollow Wicked. Back to him <coughs> is a huge uh, DX Attitude Era fan. Yes. Okay. And he wrestled. He was supposed to wrestle Waltman yeah, in Tampa, yeah. and right. he we weren't supposed to use his music because it was like it's copyright thing. Like he had generic music made. Like that's just how it was going to be. But Waltman was at him, and he's like, "I need my DX music to get a pop." And he's like, "I'm in Tampa. It's my hometown. I need my DX music to play." And he like went around everybody, and he like cornered the music guy, and he convinced him to play his music, which is fine. And then. I'm in the ring with Hollow Wicked and he goes, break it down. No, 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 no. And Hollow Wicked grabs me. He goes, this is so cool. This is so cool. Yeah. This is so cool. And, and then he goes back to like scary, scary uh, Hollow Wicked scary guy. Monster, but it's cool when you're in the ring. Like uh, when Demolition came to Jakarta oh, and I was God. in the ring with Sweeney yeah. and like, it, dun, 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 and they come down the ramp at the East of you're like, hell yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. And then how about Sweeney having the dance, the struggle? Uh, yep. Yep. With Akeem. I did some like, uh, um, I don't remember where it was, but it was like Beefcake, Honky Tonk Man, and Duggan were on the same team against like the local guys, when and it was a little apprehensive. Sometimes I get a little apprehensive. For those who don't know, some song that he did. WrestleMania the album, the album. USA song, and they it was their Fed music, like in the ring, like Brutus's music starts yeah. playing. Dun 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 dun. dun. You're in there, it's like, yo, this is this, this is cool, dude. This, this is, is cool. And then I, he then he then he insisted on getting his tights pulled, and you know, Honky Tonk Man had to get disqualified, and yeah. Duggan had to get they didn't want to get rolled up by the local guys because they're gonna kill their heat or whatever, yeah. you know. I don't know. They're not gonna get the TV won't be strong. Me grabbing you. Well, looking at you when Dreamers music hit. Oh, yeah. At the Ace, Ace Arena, and yeah. I went, you believe this shit? And you went, yeah, I know, right? And we, we both were like... This. You ever the Ace Arena? No. In no, Union no, City, New Jersey? Jersey? No. Wait. You're, you're very lucky. It's like right by Hoboken. It's right across the uh, Jersey, river from... Jersey. Yeah. And it's disgusting. I mean, well, it was, maybe? It was. I don't know. It was. It was. It's better now. Okay. It was. But I just remember Dreamers music hit. I looked at Bryce. Bryce looked at me. And we were like, oh, yeah. He was in your corner. Yeah. He the, cornered you. Yeah. For the high noon match, yeah. How what's, cool what's, is Dreamer? He's cool. He's, cool. he's super cool. Yeah, he's he's a boy, man. He knows what's up. He's like... Well, he's more Westchester. He's wrestling. Like, yeah. Like, you look at that dude, and you're like, he's, you know, he's a guy. But, like, he, like, he's done every job he could possibly do. Mm -hmm. yep. He still loves wrestling. Yep. He promotes wrestling. Yep. Like, he watches wrestling. Yep. Like, he's actively... Like, he's so good for wrestling. I, so, he's uh, so good for the community. On a, you, you were there for that after our concrete jungle match. Like him putting all of us over. Yes. I was like, holy shit, Tommy. And I went. To the whole yeah, locker room. Yeah, to the whole locker room. And I was like, Tommy, thank you. He's like, no, I get it. I go, no, no, Tommy. That's from the boards rat and stuff? Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. I said, Tommy, no, you really don't get it. He's like, I, I know. And I was like, no, you're my Terry Funk, Tommy. And he was like, holy shit. And I was like, that's, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you saying anything. Like, we joke around now. It's funny. He calls me and we fucking joke around. And 14 year old me is like, hey, Tommy Dreamer. But. Like he he doesn't understand how much his words sure. affect someone like me. And he doesn't just throw them away. Like, yeah. some dudes are just like, yeah, you're the best, man. I yeah. loved it. Great no. stuff out there. When he did that. We even homicide, who's been in the business for so many years, and he's another mentor of mine. We all just stood there like, wow. Yeah. That you didn't have to do and that. You, ne that. you never lose that. No. Like that doesn't go. Years, there's something wrong with you. Yes. Like, like last night when Shamrock's music played, it was like, yeah, yeah. this, 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 this is freaking cool. We, we were fans. We're still fans. Like, yep. You know, Who's your guy? Who who was like your guy that did Rock. that to you? The Rock. The Rock. Really? You know, Austin was better. No, yeah. I mean that you had a personal experience with. Maybe the Rock. Oh yeah. What did you have the with the Rock? Dude, it was the greatest slash most worst moment of my life. Where was this? I get booked for extra talent in WWE, and this is when he's doing the feud with John Cena. Okay. 2011. Just luck of the draw that yeah. I'm one of the jabronis backstage. Where where did you go? Uh, Albany and Buffalo. Okay. The Rock's dressing room, I have a photo of it somewhere, is directly next to the tent that they put up for extra talent. So I go to catering. I fill up this giant thing of food, and I'm like, oh, free food. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Walk it back to extra talent, put it down. I go to walk out. The Rock is standing in his doorway because it's literally right next to us. I go to step in to say hi. He shuts the door in my Whoa! face. <laughs> in my no mind, words, in no my naughty, for sure, eye contact. Mm -hmm. That's it. So that was my. my who was the 
guy that saw Hogan in the bathroom. Remember when we had WrestleCon in Secaucus and like Secaucus. there was no other way. There wasn't a private bathroom, so like the oh the bathroom God, that no, the, that fuck. the boys were changing in would have the guys have to come back. And Hogan just he had he had to pee, yeah. and he went back, and it was like the most. Like the tiniest, lamest, like I don't remember who it was. I don't know, Some like really tiny Jakarta guy was just like, like caught him. You know, like yeah. he opened the stalls, like oh, hey, 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 no words. Hey, that was it. Hey, Hulk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, for me, my guy. Uh, Re- remember, remember when you when you said uh, uh, in the end, the love you make is uh, yeah. equal to love you take. Did you, did you mean that? Uh, this is awesome, man. That's awesome. Do you remember 15 minutes ago when you said? Yeah. Ah, uh, but my guy was, was dreaming about the main, the main, main guy was, uh, I never got to meet him yet, I'll have a moment, is uh, Steve Austin. Okay. That was my guy. Why don't you do his podcast? Everyone's doing it I'm now. I'm MJF and fly myself up to California. I won't do that. Is this thing on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you don't work for, like, Joey Ryan out there? No. Nope. He'd book you. No, he won't. No? I tried. Have you I asked him? Really He's gonna be there tonight. Ask him oh. tonight. Yeah, I don't I'll, know. He just. Uh, I'll corner him tonight. No, I don't need people to fucking do. You. Hey, we need something crazy to happen, guys. No. Before the but end no, of 2019, my, I'm my, all in on this. But here's my thing too. Uh, people are like, go talk to this person. Go talk. You know what I mean? I'm like, no, I know them as friends. I'm not gonna ask. Yeah, but that for makes it job. easier. Like no, it literally, no, it I still bother people for bookings. Look, I, to me, it doesn't because they're my friends. I'm not gonna look at them differently because now they own something. It's bullshit. You text me all the time, Yo, Julie. When am I coming back to? Oh, that's one. because it's me and you, and we're fucking around. You'd be like, Oh, never, ha ha. But then I'll give you dates. Yeah. But so I, what if you did that with three other people? Yeah, exactly. Then you're <laughs> no. It's, it's just weird because I know they get hit up by everybody. Oh, but by they're the way, not you. Hold on. By the way, side note here. Side note here, guys on Twitter, guys and girls, uh, with the AEW thing, yeah, don't tag you, don't tag them, and beg for a job. You look like fucking idiots. Honestly, they do. I agree. You look like idiots. You don't look like workers. You look like fucking fans. You look like you deserve to be sitting in the audience, not in in my ring. I mean, our ring. You, really, it's bad. It's a bad look. What, what is your opinion on uh, on yours too? What uh, where do you want to see me tag a promotion this year? I so that. I do I, I do the available dates thing. I do, I, that's different because that's different. that works. I did that. I did that. I did that then someone goes, oh, I'm having a show on that date. He's available. Let's try to make something work. And then not, right not, away not, they're like, oh, maybe I'll be at a discount. Right. Yeah. Not like not like the the completely cast the net like where do you want to see me wrestle this year yeah, tag yeah. a promotion but like if i were in a promotion i'd be like stop that like yeah, i hate it I, and now they just want to book you less yeah. yeah well i took that idea from you the dates from you and like i did it i've done it here and there but like i always feel weird but i'm like oh julie does it it works <laughs> it, 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 it works booking off it yeah. it, t- it takes it does work. 30 seconds yeah, to send a tweet it, it works work. i just i don't like the begging aspect like that you're right no no i mean begging like oh, yeah, yeah, where do you want to see me this year yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't give a fuck I don't think anyone really does. You know what I mean? Or when someone puts like country f- like flags or something in their like little tweet. I've been here, here, and there. Where else do you want me to see? You're a mark. You're, you're a mark. There's something to be said for, uh, I think, telling everyone how busy you are perpetuates that. Yeah. That makes you. E- I mean, some people that are that busy are really good wrestlers, and they're talented, and they're hustling. And even those that might not be that. So, like, when you talk about how busy you me. are, it, it makes. <laughs> Like like him, <laughs> but that makes people go like, "Oh, this dude's in demand. Yeah. I gotta get on board with this." Yeah. Like, and, and, and a and lot that of creates and more lot of, money, and a lot of promoters are not good. Social uh, media is all smoking years, man. Yeah, oh. it is. All it is. All of it. It's dog and pony show. It's, it's, it's filters and taking the the picture to show the empty room, or t- or you know, like like I hate that. Like ragging on people, like look how empty this is. Who, yeah. What good does that do anyone? What have you proved right yeah. now? Yeah. Like every, com- every, compliment every, someone. Wait, and you're on the show and it's empty. Doesn't well, that, that mean? That's, that's doesn't problem. that mean you're that's, that's a good way to get you're you're bad? You know what I mean? Yeah. So no, I just don't agree with that. I think people need to stop and let your talent. Show. So tag all elite. Tell them that Eddie's looking for work. No, don't do that. Do not do. Don't that. do that. Please don't. I'll... I think they're smarter than that. But the fans, you guys can literally no, get away stop. with anything. Stop. So if stop. you guys post no, how good no, Eddie stop. is and tag stop. promotions Please and stop. stuff like that, don't do that, it's not him asking you. It's no, me as his friend. Just to remind I tell you right people, now, though, I got his rate is five thousand dollars. Um, there was a, this guy uh, Sasuke special on Instagram. Real nice guy, likes old Japan like I do. Like I gotta give him, a, I gotta show him love because like he put, he started putting out get Eddie Kingston to old Japan. <laughs> it this is his last year, and I was like, what the fuck? Like it took me. But by how surprise. dope would that be? But uh, I would leave. 
after the tour. If they don't keep me for more, I would be like, I've done what I wanted. I'm fucking out. Because they're on the but, upswing again. But it's not even that. It's all Japan was the place I always wanted to yeah. be. You can ask Bryce. When I first broke in, there was no ECW. There was no WCW anymore. There was no... TNA was just starting. Like, there was nothing. All I ever wanted was all Japan. We broke in at a weird time. Yeah. I, was, we, I was talking about this last night with J- Joey Janela. Like... It, o- O2 we started yeah. like WCW just closed ECW just closed in the span of O2 and O3 uh, Ring of Honor PWG and Chikara all started and are and all three still around but, but like, like yeah. we've never been in a real boom no like like 97, 98, 99 like rec- Reckless nice. like that's when the attitude era was hot and the indies were like, crazy. crazy you like, would put yeah. wrestling remember, on a poster yeah, and a, these it. gyms would remember, f- remember, Quack would tell us like yeah you just put wrestling on a poster, didn't matter who it was. It was, it was like a thousand people in so the like, gym. But like, like I think that's coming. It is coming. Right. Like I, I'm, I'm maybe I'm crazy, but like. Or we're in it right now. Yeah. The, and, the, the, and the high people, tide is gonna rise the ships. Like. But I think we might be in it right now. But like, okay, for last night, for instance, mm-hmm. I don't want this to be like a shitting on TJ. No. The draw was TJ bad. Is shitting mm-hmm. all over you. But. That's nine ninety nine in the business. I heard the numbers for the pay-per-views yep. were crazy. Yep. And it got like, people talking. It's yeah. a unique thing. So, like, the boom is here, but it might not put butts in seats, but the wrestling fans are paying attention yeah. to everything. Yeah. You yeah. hear about, like, good wrestling in place you've never heard it yeah. before, which is a big, like, well, look it's at those, the balls rolling down look the Look at hill. those kids. The, um, now I'm going to fuck this up. The White Wolves? Yeah, the Spanish dudes. Like, who the fuck knows about wrestling in Spain? Like, no offense to people in Spain. But, I, like, it's the internet. It's, yeah. it's Twitter. It's social media. Yep. Zack Sabre Jr. Time. wrestles this guy, gets up on YouTube. Now he's, like, a hot commodity. Yep. And it just happens, like, fucking this. Those like dudes, that. the UK blew up, and then, like, the pillars left the indie scene, and now there's, like, tons of, like, there's a lot of oh, spots dude, to be taken over there right now. MJF was trying to tell me last night oh, that I was a r- independent wrestling veteran. I just wanted to just shoot myself in the fucking How head. I think I feel. <laughs> I hate it. MJF. I was like, in my mind, I'm still thinking like, dude, I still think it's cool that Cole Cabana texts me. Right. right? Like, yeah, like, right. I, like I, this is not a thing for me. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I don't look at myself like that. I never will. No. But like, everyone's gone. Yep. Everybody's fucking gone. Like, who's left? Just no, me like, and you, Eddie. Like, like, <laughs> no. Just you. Oh, shit. 2019. C- Cabana asked me to ref his matches. And I'm like, I was watching your tapes. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I was buying your comp tapes with Punk from IWA in like yeah. 2001. I and I, like, you don't forget that. Like, no, that's still you cool. Don't. And the day that's not cool anymore is maybe the I, time to, when no, 2019 I, ends. And- <laughs> I remember putting up a match of uh, Kenta Kobashi versus Masawa. And I said, when this stops making me happy or entertaining me when this match does, then I officially have to stop watching all wrestling. Because though, though, that was the match that those matches got me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So even now to this day, man, we, we're still like that with everybody, you know? With people that we see. Like Cabana, Cabana was Mr. Independent at one yeah. point in time. You know what I mean? And we all loved hanging out with him and we would all be cool with him. You know what I mean? So it's great that we still are like that with him. He's... he's- I know he's like very trepidatious about money, but he's still all right for himself. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's built his own little empire. Like he he, he should be something. <clears throat> Everyone should look up, look up to him and figure out like he figured out other I, I ways. Know, I, I do for sure when it comes to like marketing yourself, how to treat fans, like, merch, merch. Now we're talking about like, making be, making money during the week, which yes. is a big thing that he's very good at. Yes. And we're talking about things that still make us like excited and happy. Homicide, my best friend. I'm but like. I would watch him and mark out for him, and now me and him are teaming up together, and we're on national TV together in the ring, you know what I mean, doing stuff like that motivates me too, you know what I mean, and like to me, Homicide's one of the best to ever do it, like, there wouldn't be a Ring of Honor without someone like him and Loki, yeah. you know what I mean, and could I be biased? Yeah, but I am also think that's, those are facts. But that, that's also why I'm biased that I don't want you to quit. <laughs> Because, sure. like, I, before I even became a wrestler, was being told the world is cold and I need to bundle up. So, like, <laughs> so. <laughs> so. No, it's not about me. Homicide's one of the greatest. That's all I want to say. So, my barometer for success has changed, like, when I first started wrestling mm-hmm. to when my wife now is like, so, like, how do you think your wrestling career is going? And I'll go, well. Ten years ago, I was running through Walmart trying to chase down this Hornswoggle figure because <laughs> I knew this motherfucker was impossible to find. He was like the hottest toy that came mm-hmm. out, like super over on TV. 
fast forward 10 years later, Hornswoggle's sending me Christmas presents for my toy collection. And I was like, that in itself yep. is like my thing of like, fuck, I made it. Yep. Yeah. You got that story forever. Yes. Like, there's not, there might not be like dollars in that. And like, same thing about last night. Like you were saying, it wasn't sold out maybe, it, but like, it was a cool environment. Yes. Like, he create, he, he, Ken Shamrock. Ken Shamrock. Someone had the balls to create that event. I don't. Yeah. I would never do that. I'm, I'd be terrified to do something like that yeah. in a city I don't live in. Yeah. Like, created this event and it was like a unique experience. People were there had a good time. The boys were having a good time. Like, everyone, everyone online was saying great I, stuff about and, it. As soon as, like, the, when, like they would get up on the bar. I looked out. And I said this to Biss. I say everyone had their phones out. Yeah. Everyone. And like that's a, that's something. Yeah. Like there's something yeah. to that because you don't see that at a lot of shows. Like sure, there's guys giving it, but like everybody in there, like even the, the the boys were filming it and stuff. We like, have to think like you are this far away from Ken Shamrock, yep. half naked punching a UFC Dude, fighter. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you know Scorpio, what I mean? People would pay good money to wait in line to have five seconds with Scorpio Sky, Christopher Daniels, and Frankie Kazarian. Yeah. They were chilling at the bar yesterday, yeah. hanging out, way, talking to note, people. There's another indie guy that doesn't get enough credit, Christopher Daniels. He was, he was my – when I started, I was like, there's three guys I want to ref for that feel sort of unattainable, but I think I can get. It was Christopher Daniels, Spanky, and uh, Danielson. Wow, Spanky. Did you hit them all? I did hit them all. Yeah. It took, it took, Spanky had to get released and come back to the indies, and he'd like Dragon Gate shows in like 2009 or 10, but I did, did get them all. Get Daniels with me when I wrestled Daniels. Or did you get him before? I that? got him before. He he did a, some Ian stuff. Yes, and then he did like IWC maybe or something. But but him too. Like you, let's let's go back now. Homicide, of course. Bill helped build the Ring of Honor, but that first main event of Loki, Brian Danielson, and Christopher Daniels. He's the coolest. Christopher yeah, Daniels is the coolest. That, that, that so match, cool. He is the coolest. Him giving everyone like speeches before he was leaving the venue yesterday yeah. was so funny. And He's look, like, you're all commodities somewhere else. Yeah. Do not, <laughs> do not get hurt here. If you have to go out in the middle of that bar and put a chin lock on, you do That's that. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> like, like even dude. like that guy who I was watching tapes of and admired, like yeah. remembers me. Yeah. Yeah. That's something small. Maybe he doesn't remember my name. Whatever. He's good to see you again, man. He gave me a hug last night because I hadn't seen him yeah. in years. Like, I remember this is a guy. This, like, this cool dude. Like, yeah, like, thinks you, of, like you said, this is a guy we were studying, yeah. watching. You know what I mean? And then we go, oh, hey, Chris. Oh, hey, what's going on? You know, like he remembers us. Still, th there's moments like that do, for us. Do you find yourself being a fan of the current, like, do you watch? You're a promoter. So you, do you have to watch stuff? Like, do you feel, do you so, feel out of touch? No, because, like, I'm still going everywhere. Okay. So, like. I will. This is a, here's a little tidbit. I will never read your email or your Facebook chat message trying to get booked. And I say that because I need to personally be email? on a show with you. What's his email address? Yeah, I'll, I'll, give it, I'll give it to you after. I need to per personally be on a show with you. I need to. Yeah. I need to see you work like in front of a live crowd, not like on tape. A highlight video. And need to know what you're like. In the locker room, because yeah. at the end of the day, that's all I care about is creating a good and also environment. If they, if they do your moves, uh, well, per, when, uh, I could just tell them not to. Personally, do them vouching is worth so much more. Wait, yes, way like, more. And yeah. like, uh, that's when guys will get booked. Is like, hey, this guy's in my car. Yep. Can you please give him a sure. spot? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Uh, there's uh, AC, one of ACH's students, uh, Cody Lane. Yeah. That's how he got over with me. It was like. I'm going to drive ACH. I'm like, okay, maybe he didn't do the first show, but yeah. he just kept coming. Sure. Then he moved to St. Louis and he's like, hey, I'm now only 12 hours away instead of 20. Right. Will you use me? And I was like, this is the max I can do. And he just said yes right away. And now he's doing everything in 2019. Yep. And that's yep. how it works. Like, yep. he didn't send me an email. He didn't send me like a, his resume. Yep. Resume is the dumbest fucking thing in professional wrestling. It means absolutely fucking nothing. Well, yeah. Oh, no. No. Uh, I did a seminar with uh, Roddy Piper once. And uh, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Look, you can learn wrestling from the greatest wrestlers on earth and be absolute shit. I am literally proof of that. I taught myself how to wrestle i'm a glorified backyard wrestler i'm fat and i still make more money than everybody else so good night <laughs> <laughs> so it gets me so mad because like people give up on passion people give up on hard work people give up on eating shit like these are things that aren't normal anymore because think like guys are being handed shit because there's a necessity for warm bodies in professional wrestling rings. That is it. it you you are that not do, a hot that commodity. That can do handspring cutters. Yes, you are not a hot <laughs> commodity. Dude, there was a show where there was like the first five matches all had a cutter in it. Yeah, some version of a cutter. I I refuse to do mine now 
because yeah. fuck it. What the I fuck? What the I, fuck is the point? I love your list. Here's I, a list of moves that you can't do, and it's all like the crazy. Oh, reverse Canadian, Canadian destroyer, reverse Rana are banned. Man, great for my like, company. Yeah. Well, yeah. they're just destroyers, right? Where you are. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was good, man. I was getting real mad there for a second. I'm sorry. No, good. I like it that you're getting mad. I just get, I just get so like bitter. You, oh, Pat, you what care, you me? care. What do you want? You want the microphone here? Is this what you're telling us? Oh, Son perfect. of a bitch. Yeah, it is. It is because I care. It's because I care, and it's because I care about these, like the young wrestlers that are getting pulled into like the wrong thinking and the wrong mindset. Where it's like, I. I'm a promoter. I know. I know what the fuck these idiots ask me for for paydays and like accommodations and shit. And I know that this guy that's literally way better than that person but has less exposure because they're in Canada is charging me a quarter of the price. Yep. And it's like I know the talent level. Like I can look at you both at the same time and go, yeah, this is more valuable to me. But the way that Twitter and social media is working is like giving these guys like a false identity. Yep. But in five years, you probably won't even be wrestling anymore. This gift got this many likes. Cool, yes, cool man. Yeah, cool man. What 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 did that really lead you to? Right. Where did that get you? Exactly. But how are it, you it, gonna it, it, How are all, you gonna make my fans come back and care about this fucking storyline or whatever my championship? That's because that's what's important to me yep. is like fucking bringing people back. You can get them to come for the first show, and the, you have to make sure that they fucking come yeah. back for the next nine years that I've been fucking promoting shows. So like. That's what's important to me, not what fucking cool moves you do. Right. And all it does to them is that they makes them want to try a crazier move. Exactly. And their buddy wants to try a crazier move. Someone's going to get hurt real bad uh-huh. or already has. Or, uh-huh. You know, like. And, and also my, my where thing, are they going to be in fighting? My thing, too, is all these crazy moves. Like, I understand it's real athletic and stuff like that. But aren't we supposed to simulate combat? Yeah. A little bit? Yeah. So, like, and, and I use this. And as, sell. And, yeah. Oof. Uh, I use this as an example, but I'm not shitting on Ricochet or Will Ospreay, but I use this as an example. What they did was amazing. If you would have just thrown one clothesline, I would have believed it more. And I don't think they would have gotten that much like heat from but people. But that's all. that was all in their defense. Because it was That ex- was also one clip oh, no, I understand of a 20-minute match. I, I, I understand that, but that one clip blew up. And to me, if they would have just thrown one clothesline or one punch. I think they, they threw punches. It, I didn't see it. But they would have ducked it. It would have looked like more of a combat instead of an exhibition of moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on, I was on this like smaller show, and it was everybody trying to do that in like yeah. middle of nowhere. Yeah, like because they think that's what any wrestling is. It's it's like everyone's trying to have a face face match. But and that's then, not you. Like you are not. The, the I crowd am didn't not care. Ricochet. The crowd didn't care. It was like a rural crowd, and then and then and then he he won't watch this, right? MJF won't watch this. Yeah, MJF. Oh, yeah. oh man, his dad will too. His probably. dad. Okay. Mr. Oh, by the way, MJF's dad. Uh, he didn't pay for a dinner. Like oh yeah! Said, oh, he tweeted oh, about it. Oh, did you hear about this? He was wearing his all elite jacket, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Was. Maybe Son the check hasn't cleared yet. I don't know. <laughs> Go ahead, tell him the story. Yeah, about- so it was MJF's dad yesterday. I put a tweet out about going to get some barbecue in Atlanta, and MJF's dad tweeted at me and was like, "Well, why don't you go hang out with that deviant uh, Maxwell Jacob Friedman and make sure he picks up the tab?" Yeah, and he didn't. And he didn't. So, dad spanked the shit out of him. I guess I don't know. <laughs> Right, do the guys do that? He owes you one. He does. Anyways, back to he came, fake ricochets. Oh, no, wait. You got he, more? MJF came out and cut a true heel promo and had this yokel dude in the front row trying to get in the ring and fight him. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. see how easy that was? Yes. See how easy it was? He didn't He didn't fall on his head once? Like, that's what they want. You, you got to read the room, too. You like, have to read the room. That's not going to fly at PWG, maybe. But, like, you need to know that, that like, that's the place where Ricochet and Will Ospreay do the yeah. to gymnastics class. Yeah. Like, that's fine. But even they know. What shows they're on too? Yeah. Like you don't like I'll watch a Ricochet Mel when he was still doing the indies. I'll go do an indie show with him, and I'm like, oh, he bumped twice. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like there's a time and a place for absolutely for everything, everything. For everything. Yeah. 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 Without a doubt, I'm just saying in general. I believe a lot of guys are not taking this as a combat thing. You that I mean? well, probably that sense. probably takes some years though. Like the three of us are looking at what. 
40 years combined, something. Probably so, close, so, yeah. Right. So, it's, it, so, yes, we know that. But in fairness, in your, in, your, in your first year or your second year. Oh, no, year, I was a clown. I was a chicken shit heel. Right. Yeah. You were, like, bumping. No, no, no. Like, when you you and, like, got to run with Ian, you oh, wanted to bump like, off the cage yeah, and stuff. You're taking suplexes that. on the floor. Yeah, like, like because you thought that's what you had to do. At that time, in the independence, you had to be some type of hardcore. Yeah, some type though. You didn't have to, always... especially IWA. Yeah, or a little wild side. Like yeah. I even remember doing IWA like when it came back after the 500th show, <laughs> taking DDTs on the floor yeah. and shit like spike bumps. I was I'm like, Price Fuck. was there with me when I did the Cage of Death. Oh yeah, that's and right. Like, Jesus Christ, we were at the we went to Tournament of Death together too. Yep, Tournament of Death, and then I had to get. I remember after Cage of Death, the one I did, took that stupid bump off the cage to a table. My hips hurting. We had to get in the car, drive to IWA Mid South, and then I had to like gig there for Ian. For Terry Funk was there. Yeah, Terry Funk was there. Who yelled at you? Which he, was awesome. That was all. That was pretty awesome. Terry Funk is one of the coolest dudes I've oh, ever met. So cool. He was showing us his uh his his jiggly butt cheek or whatever. Yeah, got, when someone asked him, "Hey Terry, what was that thing on you at WrestleMania 14?" Like, he goes, "Oh, that was my ass cheek." And oh, the dumpster bump. The dumpster. That was my ass cheek, and he pulls down his pants, and he has no ass cheek. Like. Right side ass cheek, yeah? It went up. He was cool. Oh, dude. Still to this day, great. Bushwhacker Luke is cool, too. He just tells stories. He tells, like, Andre the Giant fart stories. Yeah, yeah in he, his he, underwear. He came to Ring of Honor once, and it was, like, story time. Everybody was sitting around him, and he was just telling stories about Mr. Perfect Ribs and Andre farting and drinking. I was like, this is great. I'll, that's I'll, the shit like, that we love. And they love it, too. Like, yeah. they get to Oh, go they and, love telling they love the it. stories. They yeah, love yeah. it. They're, they're king of the castle. Like, yeah. why won't we Why won't, why won't, we, won't we, we won't? <laughs> My wife... <laughs> Anyway. I've, bo- I've booked uh, Luke multiple times, and like I'll never like still wrestle? double legend. Oh, d- what does he wrestle for? Like twenty five minutes? Hell yeah! Him and Tatanka. There's no nights off. Another guy, Tatanka. How great was he in the Jakarta locker room cool. talking to all of oh, us? Great is he in the ring? That guy has one speed. Mm-hmm. Literally the same thing with uh, uh, the Godfather. He was great too to hang out with. And uh, oh yeah, he was cool. Yeah. Actually, I remember that. Great to hang out with him. Uh, Terry Funk. I, dude, madman, madman! I love him to death. Putting him on the phone with Homicide and hearing Homicide almost get choked up because Terry Funk's like, I don't know why you're not a millionaire. If this was a couple, if this was the past, you would have been a millionaire. I grabbed the phone. D, you good? Yeah, no, no, I'm fine. And hangs up because that's like his favorite wrestler. You know what I mean? Like moments like that. I did that once. I asked Alex Shelley to call one of my friends. Uh, he's a Canadian wrestler, uh, Alessandro Del Bruno. Oh yeah. And uh, literally, like that guy's defeated his his face in his eyes. <laughs> There's a reason why he's defeated. But go ahead. he's getting married. Yeah, defeated. So I got Alex Shelley to call him and leave a message. This was a very long time ago. Okay, maybe I shouldn't even tell this story. I wouldn't if you think you're not to. Okay, then I won't. But anyways, Alex Shelley left a voicemail because he didn't pick up, uh-huh. and it was the funniest, most offensive voicemail. <laughs> it was not a "You're a fan of mine. I love you." It was like "Fuck you, you stupid piece of shit, Mark, for not showing up to this booking." It was supposed to be us tonight wrestling each other. Oh! Like it was like so. And then he dropped a word that I'll never say in public no. at the end of it and then hung up. And I looked at him and I was like, he's going to kill himself. I get a text like an hour later. He's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> was that actually him? I was like, yeah, it was. Uh, and Jer- that's the last time we heard from Alessandro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, Jerry Funk now at AIW. Oh, yeah. We have a thing with me and him and Duke have an angle going on. He's supposed to run out or whatever and beat us up. So the whole time he's telling us, hey, guys, take care of me. I'm old. Hey, guys, take care of me. We're like, oh. I texted you after I saw yeah. that. Because I could see you trying to go Terry Funk and a swing in it. Yeah. 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 And uh, so, but here comes Funk out of nowhere with a fucking chair that wasn't planned. Nails the Duke. Starts punching us in the face. As hard I, as he can. And I'm sitting there going, yeah. Give it to me, Terry. And he's fucking throwing soda cans at Duke and picking Duke, just no, like a Bronco out of his mind. Then he DDTs me on the floor. Yeah. I go to the back. He goes, oh, I haven't done that in nine years. I go, then why'd you do it? I'll take it any day. But it's just like guys like Terry Funk, the reason why they're considered the greatest is because when they're, they could be in the back like, oh, man, I'm, I'm But when up. it's time to but go on. It, a fucking a, a, a switch goes and they just fucking go. A, a thing I don't think I don't know that a lot of fans realize is like that reputation, even from like a newer guy and a legend, like that makes you want to book them more. Yeah. Yes. Like you go once and you're a salty 
jerk. Like, I'm not. Who cares? Like yeah. that. That spreads quick. David Arquette is the man. I was on a show with him. He was uh, at Russell Plouza, Minneapolis. He his meet and greet line was super long. He was stopping and talking to everybody. He couldn't have been cooler. He's a fan of wrestling. He was filming the show, asking it his picture taken with like yep. Darby Allen and stuff. Like, yeah. Everyone should book that guy. Yes. Like, he wants to be there. He does not need, more than anyone, he doesn't need this. But, like, he loves wrestling. He loves being around it. That word travels, and his phone rings. Whether he wants it to or not. Maybe he doesn't care, but he wants to. But, like, Same thing with a guy like Two Cold Scorpio, yeah. who just goes out there, busts his ass, and has there a good time There are no with nights people. off. No, none. And, it, and the age he's at, and still doing 450s, and... Moon salt leg drop like doesn't have to do it. No, it doesn't have Does to. Does it because he loves it? But he goes out there. He's like, who am I working with? Okay, kid. And then, you know what I mean. He's another the one that's great to have in the locker room. Yep. Guys like him and Funk, and you know what I mean. And, and certain other veterans are just great to have. In Why there. don't you just be that guy? No, because they have money. I don't. I need more money. And I no stop. We're not going over this. Fuck you. We already did the Eddie Kingston begging thing. You guys did, which was embarrassing. I, I anyway. like to call them interventions, but it's not an intervention. I've had intervention. I mean, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, when you had cocaine at 15, yeah, I remember. Yeah, 15, yeah. Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Eddie's dad! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you remember... I've been following your Instagram, son! <laughs> I know what you're up to. I knew you were in Atlanta. You two, you two know my dad. I do know your dad. Yeah. I know your mom, too. I've Yo, met have you, your dad. Have you been to Eddie's house in Yonkers, no. his mom's house? Oh, it's nice. Eddie's mom... So when Eddie hurt his ankle, his mom had these... She's the sweetest woman in the world. She built these guardrails in his tub so he could get he could take a bath yeah. and not a shower because he couldn't walk made us all breakfast yep. and this guy why oh home of the brave i'm tough i'm hard the, his mailbox yeah. is a little tiny version of his house oh that's his my mailbox God. it is i never denied it i i decided to go hang out in the ghetto you know what i mean i never denied his it. his mom couldn't wait till he took a sh- went up to take a shower so she could get out the pictures of him at disney when he was yeah. a kid was is a that kid. why you hate yeah. disney you're, 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 I hate it because of my mother, yeah. No. Little, little chunky, eight year, eight year old Eddie. I, and I also think people, my mom's a sweetheart, but you guys don't. Ruthann! Ruthann! You guys don't understand how crazy she is when it comes down to it. Like, well, what's Bronx, her background? Puerto, Puerto Rican, Rican, yeah. Yeah, like, oh, my it's, wife's it's Colombian. Bad. I, I get the Latin lady. My father loves just talking to Claudio about cartoons, which drives me nuts. He Yo, doesn't talk to Claudio about How it. awesome is Claudio? There's no words. I don't talk to him no more, so I don't know him. Why not? I'm joking. I'm joking. I just want to get you guys. Claudio is one of the greatest pro wrestlers, but not even pro wrestlers. One of the greatest people guys I've ever met. Yeah, just inside, inside. Good that person. is it. Like, this is. I think he's the American dream. I was just, I was just yes. gonna say. I, I was just gonna say. I, like that's glossed over in a lot of his reasons. Like he bet on himself. Yes. Yep. In 2004, he entered a green card lottery so he could come to the U.S. He he took he had thousands of dollars in savings, quit a really good job he had yeah. so he could sleep in a tiny room at Hero's house in Reading, Pennsylvania. Leesport. Leesport, Pennsylvania. No fucking nowhere. Yep. And With he, the Dooster. The Dooster. Yeah. He would just get bored and go for bike rides, just go to the gym, go train, and like just kept at it. Like he would get bitter, he'd have setbacks, he, you wouldn't see it on his face. Like yep. he he plugged away, he got signed, he got Fire. revoked. Yeah. And like that, he like I'd have gone back to Switzerland that yep. day. But was, screw was, this, he, I'm out. He was bitter and angry, but he still sure. pushed on. That's he when I worked. That's when I I worked him was after it got revoked and he was still doing indies. And then he's the one that actually got me in Young Lions Cup. Yep. Mm-hmm. He didn't have to do that. Yep. Like there's, I was at the time literally nobody. Just well, he some did the rewind thing. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Literally nobody. And he was like, "Yo, I worked this kid in Canada. He's good. You should book him, Quack." And that was it. And Great. then literally started my whole word indie of career. mouth, personal vouch. Yeah. yeah. Long way. Uh, yeah. No, he's the Amer- he's the American dream. He yeah. is yeah. without a doubt. Yeah. And I just, I just love that he hasn't changed. Sure. He's still him. And it's easy to be like, why aren't they doing more with him? Like, of course, he should be world champion. He should make yes. WrestleMania. Mind, we all know that. Yeah. But, like, he's doing all right, too. You, you know? Like, he's making yeah. a good penny. Yeah. You know I, I mean, mean, million followers on Twitter. Yeah. He's fine. <laughs> he's good. He's fine. It'll be all right for him. He's set for life. He's not done with his but money. He did, but he f- here's the thing you don't get with a lot of people. He fucking deserves it. Well, yeah. Not because just the work he put in. Because he's a good person. Yeah. And that's... that. Like that gives people. And he hope. used to make my gear. Yeah, yeah I remember he, made he taught he the taught earth. himself how to uh, he taught himself how to sew he used so he to could make sit. my gear. Yep, he used to, when he first moved. He was first learning English. He had a saying taped on his wall, and it was uh, uh, "mouth shut, ears open." That's all it said. Yep. And I was like, "Yep, he's right." And like we could all learn that, you know, at the right time. Like, how about we go to the subway? <laughs> Why don't we go to the subway? 
All the time. That's all you ever wanted to do. His English was not fully developed. He didn't know a lot of American. He knew like Perkins and Subway. He always wanted to go to Subway. And he used to worry about everyone so much. Like he was just worried. Like that wasn't his nature. Like, yeah. uh, here are you. Sure you're not hungry? Yeah, you haven't eaten all day. It's like, I'm fine, Claudio. Yeah. Like he just would worry about everything. He was very, yeah, he's the best. The best, the best, Dude, the best. I, 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 when I say I. Still I'm, got Klaus. The same cat. Yeah, fuck that crazy. That's same cat? Yeah, yeah Klaus. Right? Klaus was the outside cat. Yeah. Every time I see him, I was like, he's Klaus. He's like, yep, Klaus still out. All right, man. Yeah. I remember Klaus bringing in a bunny rabbit into the house. And me. He's, he was stray. Like, he yeah, he was a stray. Took him in. Yeah. And I remember I was helping Claudio get rid of We thought it was like a rat or something. And so I go to hit it and I go, oh my God, it's a fucking bunny. <laughs> and it runs away. It runs around the house. Klaus used to bring him toys, like dead birds and yep. Bunny rabbits oh, and stuff. Cute. Yeah. He also took the the door off his closet to make a desk out of it because yeah. he just didn't have anything when he first moved. Yeah. I was like, oh, he, what'd you do? And he, he was still his English was not good. He goes, I recreated my room. <laughs> 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 yeah, kinda. <laughs> my my I, favorite Claudio story, and I think this like wraps him up as a human mm-hmm. being. We were all at Steak and Shake after an IWA oh, yeah. IWA yeah. show. And he he was just hanging. It was him, Sarah. was probably there because I drove down with him. Uh, And then the table was full. Yeah. And it was taking for your food because you're with everyone. Everyone was lit, like dogging me. Mm -hmm. Like beyond the green guy, just being like pieces of shit. And just laughing. So I'm like, fuck. And then all of a sudden, I get hit in the head with a straw, like a straw wrapper. (laughs) And I look up, and it's Claudio. and, And he goes, and then he tells me a terrible draft joke <laughs> and i go oh like he noticed that everyone's being a piece of shit and he's being like i like you it's yep. okay yeah yep. and i was it. like this is a good person yeah he had horrible jokes but for some reason he thought they were funny he had a book of them yeah he bought a book of bad jokes yeah. uh and they helped him learn english i'm not kidding yeah. when i you know you can say you miss someone but I, but honestly i miss him yeah. every day yeah he's not dead or anything yeah yeah yeah, but yeah. You know, he's always busy. You know what I mean? Maybe and, by and, the end of 2019, you'll be hanging out with each other more. Yeah, we'll see. But he, uh, him, I miss being around. And I miss his... Even when he was angry, he would make you laugh. Because oh, yeah. he was funny when he was even angry. Like you, He was just a good soul. Yeah. My dad loves... My dad don't like a lot of people. He's like me. But I'm like my father. But my dad loves Claudio. That's why the whole Sweeney thing, when Sweeney passed away, fucked my head up even more. Because again, my dad, like me... Don't like a lot of people. My father was sitting outside when he found out the news and broke down crying. And I've never seen my father cry. You know, called me at work. I hadn't talked to him in like a year. And he called. I was like, this is weird. And I, I, something made me pick it up in the middle of work day. And I was I like, I knew yeah. something was wrong because in wrestling, when you wake up and you have like 15 or 20 messages from somebody, someone's dead. Well, you know something's what I mean? So something's wrong. You know what I mean? So when I woke up that day, Jesus Christ, so many. Are you okay? Everything all right? Are you okay? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Did you hear? That's the worst way to find out. I know. The, the worst way was this. I kind of ignored everything. Like, eh, whatever. Let me check Facebook. I go on Facebook. There's a picture of Sweeney chopping me. And then it says, rest in peace, Alex. Ugh. And I went, you got to be fucking kidding me. Fuck. I remember drinking like there was no tomorrow. I remember putting my head through a wall. I remember punching walls in my house. You know what I mean? I remember people trying to call me. I wouldn't pick up. You know what I'm saying? Like, me and Jigsaw, who lived, we lived 20 minutes away from each other, wouldn't even talk to each other because we didn't want to break down in front of each other. It was just, you know what I mean? It was a rough, rough time. The fact there were Chikara shows that weekend. Fuck. Yeah. But that was kind of great. Well, that like kind of being, to everybody's spirit. Being, being, to, together. being together was nice. Everyone was coping and dealing it with their own way in their own place, and then we were all doing it together in the same I think place. I it didn't make it any easier. Yeah. I needed I definitely needed I that. I needed that because I was at home, stewing. like, stewing and, and just breaking shit in my own house that, like, I would have to fix later. You know yep. what I mean? Yep. So it, that, that was a tough, 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 tough. You got to get that. You got that picture of me at your wedding. There's a picture of him, like, cackling, laughing that, uh, Holloway had started this. Yeah. He put it out on the bar at his wedding because he knew that Sweeney would only buy the bar. Yeah. Then at my wedding, I borrowed it and I put it out on the bar at my wedding too, so he yeah. would be there. Next wedding, my son's name Alex. That's that's for Sweeney. That's what we all we all wanted. Like we all agreed on that. Whoever had the kid would name their, if it's a kid. So. Beat you to it. You snip, snip. <laughs> <laughs> snip, 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 snip. I'm giving I'm giving my son the middle name then, Alexander. Fine, fine, yeah. fine. Give him the middle name. Cool. Right. <laughs> Fuck whatever. <laughs> But not yet. It's just, we have a lot of it, man. Damn. Yeah. He'd be a millionaire, right? Right? Yeah. He'd be a millionaire. Yeah. 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 
sure. e- easily. We were I'll be sleeping in his basement somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about this this morning, actually. Like or or Babao would be the biggest promotion. Oh, in all, in all of America, yeah. I'd be okay with that too. I'd be, I'd be employed then. I'd be employed by them. Uh, um, did you do any of those schools at his college, his sister's college? Yeah, I was on the first one. His sister's uh, Colgate, right? Colgate University, their sorority or something. They had a activities fund, and they would give Sweeney like a lot of money to put on a wrestling show. I was on the first and one with him, these yeah. dudes made this like it was kind of a bar brawl basically. Yeah, but it was it was in the backyard of a sorority house in like upstate New York in October and it's like he just paid all his friends to come up and they tried to build a ring but it was like not even a backyard ring. And it was we, so, we so much, much fun. fun. We just we just wrestled then got drunk. And he paid and he and took he took super well. great care of everyone. Very well. See that's good people is like these bot shows come every once in a mm-hmm. while. People like throw money around, and some people like to just keep it to themselves, and then others spread it. Yeah, share it with your friends. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. He kept some for himself. For himself I mean, if too. we if we can all shit eat shit together, we can all like enjoy the good shit together too. Yeah. I think that's a good way to end. I this. think it's a good way to end. Yeah. This. <laughs> Thanks for Best watching. Ninety nine in the business, yo. Highspots.com. Fuck. Word up. He doesn't need a mic. What the fuck? <laughs> Here.